Hello, and welcome to another Toon Kind at D&D. My name is Candle, I am your DM for today, and this is The Last Wish Part 4. Um, I'm pretty excited, this is probably going to be the last game in the uh, Daisy Chain saga that I've been running, so uh, that's exciting. Um, and we just have one kind of large problem to overcome uh, left. Um, which is, um, a really big statue. <laughs> um, so, um, would my players, uh, would you like to introduce yourself and who you're playing? And, uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Avi. Oh, sorry. Hi, I'm Avi, and today I'll be playing, uh, Local real kind detective boy Shiro Zumi. Hello, I am Dawn, and I am playing Karma, the Muppetborn Chameleon. This is his territory. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I am Oatmeal, and I will be playing uh, the professor. Hello, I am Pencils. I will be playing Spectacled Spectre, or Specs for short. And yeah, can't wait to defeat this copyright symbol. <laughs> Great good news. <laughs> uh, and hi, I'm Wake. Uh, I'm going to be playing uh, Dr. Eugene, uh, your not so local dentist who is just, just standing here. <laughs> Uh, it's gonna be good fun. Uh, for reference for anyone listening in the future, um, my map stuff is kind of a little bit kaput at the moment, so I'm using, uh, in, in server, uh, visuals, which is why there is jokes about the, uh, the copyright symbol, because it's a, just a giant C with a circle around it. Um, mm -hmm. yeah. I'm sorry that you don't get to see my magnificent, um, doodling. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> Truly a tragedy, but yeah, it's a. It just looks like a huge copyright symbol. Don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah. Um. So yeah. Um. So this takes up uh pretty much immediately after the last game. Um, where the statue stood up, everyone got ready, uh, and we have rolled initiative order. Um, and um. Yeah, that uh that leaves um beginning of combat to karma. Wait, could I do the could I just declare the thing that we discussed? Ah, yes. Please do. <laughs> okay. Uh Professor takes uh a moment to slip his shoes off, take a different pair out from his pocket, uh, and put them on. Just a pair <laughs> of uh black shoes with um some uh well i mean eh, not they they seem normal are those your kicking ass shoes or something <laughs> <laughs> they they just seem like they just seem like a normal pair of black sneakers <laughs> uh, there's running shoes was, uh, <laughs> all right all right, let's dance. <laughs> I don't want to dirty my other shoes here. Like, <laughs> anyway, that's it. Yeah. I'm sorry. That just sounds like such a. It seems like such a dad thing to do. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, Dawn, you're up. Okay. Uh. Well, first things first, Karma's gonna cast, uh, Hunter's Mark on the champion. Mm -hmm. Which is just basically a keep track of it, plus I get a hit extra hard. That is and a spell, correct? It is. Does it have- that, that doesn't have any sort of, like, save or anything, does it? No, it's- it's literally just, a. Can't dodge it. I- Tag it. Okay. It is now my my thing I hit now. Alright. And with that, 
shooting time. <laughs> Double check. Okay. Yeah, Does that's a twelve not hit. hit. <laughs> Sorry, right. but well, um, I I think okay. I think for flavor wise, it does hit, but it just goes pink off it. <laughs> That one will hit, though. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's 11 damage. Uh, could you please remind me the damage types of these? Um... Dawn, I cannot hear you if you're talking. Dawn? Uh-oh. <laughs> We're off to a good start. Uh-oh. I had a bad feeling. Uh, give, give him a moment. Mm -hmm. Um... Am I back? Yes. Yes, yeah. we can hear you now. <laughs> Sorry. My internet's garbage today. Mm. Oh. Pat you. Um, could you please tell me uh, what damage types these are? Uh, piercing, both of them. Because longbow. Yeah, okay. Um, so just a regular longbow. Uh, and the second one is that the... That's the hunter's mark that? magic. Okay, okay. Um does it say what type that is? Uh it just says whatever your Oh, just extra of what you're dealing. Yeah. Mm. Okay. All right. In that case, I just need to check something. Ah, this thing is I know I'm thinking. It is made of stone. <laughs> It's also technically a god champion. It's probably immune or resistant to non magic. Possibly. I smile at you. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I can. Um, you did damage it. Don't think you damaged it as much as you probably should have. Oh no! Uh, well, you don't have to worry about that. You're a wizard. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, you are the like, ultimate here. Yeah, honestly, yeah. Like I shouldn't worry about that. It's you guys I'm worried about, anyway. I'm not. Until he has a magic weapon. <laughs> oh, okay, that's cool. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Uh, is Carmen? Yeah, that's that. All right, I've done math. Um, all right, is there anything else? <laughs> nope. That, that's that. The extent of it. I haven't seen it do anything, so just gonna skip. Uh oh. Um. Uh, Dawn, you roboted hard, but it sounds like you said that um, the. That's that's your turn. Yeah. Correct. <sighs> Alright. Um, <laughs> fingers crossed that this is ends up your internet plays nice for, for this. Uh but uh Azumi, you're up next. <laughs> Alright, cool. Uh bonus action going to activate the uh the flame tongue. Mm hmm And, uh, he's gonna charge right in. Okay, okay. Getting up close and personal with it, huh? Yeah. Is this a bad idea? Probably. But he's... <laughs> the reason I made him cast for. 
<laughs> yeah, fair enough. Plus that. uh, that's a 17 to hit. Yep. Uh, that'll do it. Yep. Okay. Roll for damage. Nice, nice. Okay, so uh, thank you for giving me that extra information. Um, all right, fourteen damage. Okay, yep. Cool. Uh, do you have a second attack, or is that the only attack? Uh, he is a rogue. He does not have a second attack. <laughs> Fair enough. Um. Anything else that you can or want to do? Uh, he already used his bonus action, so no. Alright, fair enough. Uh, then that means uh, routine. You're up. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> out of character. So, uh, no plan. We're, we're just going right in. <laughs> we're just charging this guy if you'd like to talk you can talk in character <laughs> talking is a free yep. action yeah. I don't think I can talk with this guy though but yeah go ahead oh no I'm de- <laughs> man uh- <laughs> yeah he, he seems like the strong silent type yeah <laughs> <laughs> Even more strong and even more silent than, like, the other guy we fought. <laughs> well, I meant more if if Routine is concerned about a plan, <laughs> he can ask. Uh, <laughs> oh, uh, he sure could ask. Oh, yeah, that makes a lot more sense. <laughs> uh, Azumi oh, no. and Karma... There's no talking this champion out of anything. Mm. That's not the plan anyway. Yeah, uh, Azumi and Karma seem... They're kind of just the shoot first, ask questions later types. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Unfortunately. <laughs> okay. Um. All right. I'm gonna flip a coin to see if I'm gonna do something dumb. Oh, All right. Boy. Fun. Oh, good oh, fun. Oh, I know, oh. we're starting out with a coin flip. Mm. Alright. Uh, <laughs> Alright, so he's gonna take this opportunity. He's, he's, he's looking at the two of them. They're gonna go fight this thing. Um, but of course, as we all know, routine is not the type to fight. Uh, <laughs> will he at some point? Probably. He, we all have to. But, um, he's gonna cast <laughs> Uh, he's gonna cast Find Traps. <laughs> oh, okay. So he's essentially gonna spin in a circle to see if there's any traps in this room, besides the obvious threat of a giant statue. <laughs> um, hmm. I haven't remind been in this room in a while. I don't remember. Yeah, okay, remind me again uh, the specific wording of the, the spell. It was um, created with intent for harm. Uh, I believe so. I can copy paste it. If I found you like. it. Oh, okay. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. You are more prepared than I. Because <laughs> anything that would inflict a sudden or unexpected effect you consider harmful or undesirable, uh, which was specifically intended as such by its creator. 
Um, thus, the spell would sense an area affected by the alarm spell, a glyph of warding, or a mechanical pit trap, but it would not reveal a natural weakness in the floor, an unstable ceiling, or a hidden sinkhole. Uh, okay, okay. Um, in that case, um, routine. So this is a um, like pretty old like round cavern. There are like uh, little pillars along the edges of the of the room, and there's the like really big stone doors that have. Um, shut at some point behind you guys um and um and, and like um it's mostly pretty dark in here but um the i mean azumi has a flaming sword and um daisy is still uh well or at least the jewel is still near you um and that's shedding light in this area um the only ping that you get from your spell is from the statue. Ah, okay. Mm. Cool. <laughs> Great use of spell slot, I say to routine. <laughs> no, Just it was it a up. good idea. It was a very good idea. Mm. Uh, unfortunately, there are no there are no more traps in this room. Man. That's probably a good thing. How dark is it? Is it dark enough to impose disadvantage? Yeah, that's, that's a good um, place to do. I, um, hmm, I had not thought of that. Let me roll, I'm going to roll a d2. Because I know this section of the ruins was dark because we had a torch and then we all got uh, knocked out. Yeah, okay. According to my, uh, I just flipped a coin. Uh, yeah. A disadvantage um, if you're not within. Um, oh, how how far does your sword shed light, uh, Arvi? Uh, let me check. I'm gonna say Daisy only really sheds light in about a ten foot um, diameter. Mm -hmm. It says 40 feet bright and additional 40, uh... Dim? Dim. That's pretty good. That, that's... Yeah. Okay, um, Dang. so... It's most of the cavern. Anything, anything <laughs> not 40 feet, um... Diameter, you said? Yes. Radius. Radius. Alright. Any, anything, um... Yeah, not 40 <laughs> <laughs> There's a very good reason I went for this one. It's a rare uh, item. Mm. <laughs> okay, okay. So, uh, 40 feet um, means that... 10, 15, 20, Okay. Um, <laughs> at least from where Azumi is. Um, most of the cavern is currently lit. I think they're... Um, uh, I, I think that... Um, there is a section um, There's a, a little bit behind, like, down at the very bottom that's not being lit by the, the like, it's dimly lit, but most of the cavern is currently within that 40, uh, 40 feet radius. Um, okay. Yeah. Um, I forget am if... I allowed to... Oh, sorry. Oh, I was just going to say, I forget if dim light poses disadvantage or if it's just total darkness but um anyway you may continue oh yeah no, it's empty um i don't all right so i i also know routine was looking around um are are the walls and floor like smooth are they worked stone are they like dirt or rock um they're they're stone they're kind of like uh, really large slabs of rock that have been sort of like placed together. So like it's pretty flat, but there is um, there is like little ridges and stuff in, in the in the floor. Okay, and the pillars are only like lining the circumference of the 
circumference uh, around the room yes they're, they're they're around they're sort of placed evenly around the room um they're, they're sort of like um they're jutted out from the walls but they're still sort of like been like carved from the walls so like you can't get behind one but you could probably like slide up uh next to it and you could be out of line of sight <laughs> it's good good to know <laughs> <laughs> okay um all right last thing before i pass uh, to the next person um uh, you said daisy is nearby how how close I mean, you took Daisy, the the jewel, out of your hammer space um, right. when uh, when you fell asleep. Uh, mm -hmm. So they are still on the floor where you, you left them. All right, Routine's gonna pick that up. <laughs> Fair enough. We don't want Daisy getting hurt in this after all of it. <laughs> yeah, Routine's gonna pick up the jewel and. Put it back in his hammer space. That'll be it. Um, you can't. Okay, okay. roll me a um, roll me a whiz save. Oh, I don't like that. <laughs> All right, cool. Oh, whiz <laughs> save me. Why? <laughs> we just discussed that he was bad at wisdom. Well, I mean, he's not that bad. His intelligence modifier is worse. Okay. Oh, that's not too bad. Mm -hmm. oh, right. Oh, All right, nineteen. Um. Uh, yeah, I don't think that's going to be enough. Uh, oh shoot! <laughs> you try and put it uh, in in your hammer space. Um, and, uh, and you get this overwhelming, um, compulsion of no, uh, and so you don't. He is just going to hold it, I guess. Uh, <laughs> I... <laughs> Sorry, Wick. <laughs> Yep, he's just ponder gonna hold orb. this jewel. Don't worry. Yeah, I'm just gonna ponder the orb while you guys <laughs> beat the shit out of the statue. <laughs> like, we're gnawing at it, biting it, and being, like, shooting at <laughs> yeah. the attack. It's just like, you're in the corner just looking at the orb. Alright, but anyway, that, that'll end routine's turn for now. Yeah, fair enough. That's very fair. Okay, uh, Professor, you're up. Excellent. Um, hmm. How tall would you say this thing is? Ah, oh, God. Ah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It does um, not. It does not have to be exact. I just want a a a very rough ballpark estimate. Ah. Uh, okay. Okay. Um. I know it's huge. <laughs> yeah, so um, I'm just trying to think. Uh, about a four meter base would, and roughly humanoid in shape. Uh, let's say, uh, I want to say something like sixty feet. Okay. I, I think the top of it's pretty tall. Like that. Yeah, yeah, maybe, yeah. Yeah, maybe fifty feet. Mm -hmm. Let's go with that. Okay, in that case, uh, Professor does make this comment. If anybody mm, needs to get into position, I do have Dimension Door. You'll just have to... Uh, I just have to, well, take you there. I can't. You'll have to either come to me or I'll have to go to you. Azumi climbs another one of candles. So, so Professor is offering the use of Dimension Door to anybody if they have a plan that involves getting up there, because he can just do that. Um, 
Uh, however, for now, uh, he's going to, uh, let's see, I don't think he has any reason to move from where he is. Uh, so he's just going to cast slow, uh, which I will, let's see, spell, please. Slow should be, yes. Um, yep. So I need you yep. to do a blah, 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 wisdom saving throw. Okay, give me a moment. How does an 18 do? Uh, damn, meets it, beats it. Yeah, you make it. There, oh, there is, I'm... there is no effect. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, that's all right. God, every time. It's, I know. It's all right. I have another plan. <laughs> I have a real big plan, but it's not my turn yet. Well, we'll get there. Um, so that's uh, his action. Every time someone is like that, I. I have this immense fear baked into me. What plan do you me? have? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Oh my, like, what do you mean? Uh, Pencils and I both have plans. Like, <laughs> I'm a magic user. I have to have a plan because I can't just hit it. <laughs> <laughs> Same. Yeah. Uh, I'm not a monk in here. I can't just fucking fight it. I gotta, I gotta yeah. use spells. So up. We got a fist fight. <laughs> so, um, Professor looks up and up uh, at this uh, champion. So, do you communicate, or are you just a ginormous training dummy? Yes. <laughs> Um, <laughs> <laughs> Professor, you get no response. Yeah. Fair enough. Uh, with that, I'm going to give, um, uh, with my bonus action, a bardic inspiration to uh, Azumi. Fair enough. So you have a, D right. you have a D10. I mean... Um, and I will stay put, so that is my turn. Okay. Gosh, I that's just high level. Mm hmm He's level, he's level I 10. Forget. <laughs> I forget about that. <laughs> <laughs> um, alright, um... Alright, alright, alright. Map, where are you? How far away is... Okay, um, alright, uh, so, um, the, the statue has sort of, like, been, it, it had sort of, it's, it had stand, it had stood up when, um, when you guys had issued the challenge, mm. but it hadn't really done anything, um, uh, as you guys made the first couple of attacks, mm. uh, but now it does, uh, and, um, Izumi, um, yeah, I, <laughs> I need you to make me a constitution saving throw. What? Ooh, a con save? Ooh. Whoa. So I'm using new dice for Azumi, mm. uh, cause I wanted to nice. use them. Mm -hmm. Uh, and I should preface this. I test rolled these dice for a while mm -hmm. and have not rolled below a 10. Whoa. <laughs> wow. Hey. Truly, Azumi dice. All right, <laughs> all, right all right. Well, uh, are you sure that, to wait? Uh, that will make it. Um, 
So uh, the golem lifts one of its hands uh, and sort of directs it at you. Uh, and a uh, magical cone of lights uh, springs out uh, in a in a cone. Um, you're the only one in the range of it that it hits, uh, but you are not blinded. Because he already lit up the room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe. Um, kind of shields his eyes. <laughs> Just, oh fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, uh, and that's uh, that's all it um, is going to do. Um, yeah, um, I do have a little bit more information, but people would need to roll a perception check for that. And that takes uh... okay. Wait, that takes up a thing. That takes up an action. I, 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 I won't. I won't have it take up an action, but I will have it take up a bonus action. Mm. Oh, then That's I can totally name. do that. I don't have a bonus action. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I already used mine for this turn anyway. I can roll. Yeah, I can roll real quick. Uh, perception. You said. Yep. Okay, that would be. Let me just type that in. Let the computer do the math for me. <laughs> Professor just... I didn't take you for the casting type. Caption... <laughs> 21. Yeah, okay, that'll definitely do it. Um, hey, that statue's looking a little bit better than it did just... Bef uh, after the couple of attacks. Oh. Uh -oh. Excuse uh -oh. me? Uh -oh. A healing ah. statue? I'm gonna, like, shout that out to the rest of the group when it's my turn. I mean, I'm guessing it's technically my turn now, isn't it? It is your <laughs> turn. Yep, it is your I'm, turn. Like, real quick, I'm gonna shout out, like, IT'S HEALING ITSELF! <laughs> oh, good grief. And then... And then I'm gonna cast Shatter, so oh. I'm gonna cast a level three uh, yeah, level three sh Shatter Very spell. Important. Very important. Where are you casting it? Because you might. Yeah, where are you casting it? Yeah, I wanna, hold on. Like, I position, will. I'm positioning it like somewhere where it won't hit anyone close. To, it won't hit Azumi because it's a ten foot. It's a ten foot. A sphere, yes, ten foot radius sphere. The thing, yeah, the thing itself yeah, is is a fifteen I, I mean, foot base, so you, you should be able to. Yeah, hit it just fine. I should be able to position it. So I'm gonna need candle. I'm gonna need you to roll a Constitution saving throw at disadvantage because <laughs> it's inorganic material. <laughs> ah, well, I uh, I. Do actually with that perception check, I have a little bit of information for you. Oh, uh, crud! <laughs> going to be at um at normal because oh. this thing oh, gets advantage you. on magical attacks. No! I thought so. Oh. Magic resistance, don't you? Ah, <laughs> hence why it didn't fail the slow. <laughs> wow. Okay. Oh fuck! Oh damn! Well, okay, fine. Just roll normal. <laughs> um, how does a sixteen do? That beats it, but it still takes half the damage. It still takes half the damage. Yep. Yeah, four d eight. So I'm just gonna roll my dice real quick. Uh, that's oh, uh, that's all. Okay. That seems all right. Let me just fuck. Let me just calculate that real quick. <laughs> Math, oh, no. am I right? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you want to read out the numbers, I'm sure I can do some math. It's eight plus three plus it's ten. It's eight plus two, so ten. Then yep. seventeen damage, half of that. Yep. So Five. that that's eight. Uh, eight damage because it rounds down because it would be eight and a half. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I should probably put more info than just 17. <laughs> 17. <laughs> no, that's fine. That works. Alright, alright, alright. 
Oh, thunder. Uh, now it's my turn to do math. <laughs> cool. All right. Um. Yeah. In that case, uh, we're back at the top of initiative order. Uh, Karma, you're up. Yeah, that'll hit. Hello? Oh, we did not hear you at all. Oh, uh, yeah, like, hello. it said something. Um, I saw the- I saw the roll. I'm assuming you, um, you rolled with the crossbow. Uh, in which case that yeah. definitely hits. Yeah, it's- I asked, since Azumi is right on top of it, does that let me use sneak attack? Um, I think so, because that would count as flanking, right? Do you have I to... don't know, it just says that as long as there's a enemy of the target within five feet of it, that you yeah. can oh, have it. Flanking is mm. flanking is when two uh two player two characters are like uh physically there, physically in melee range on opposite ah, side. Ah, okay, okay, but, my bad. Uh, but but with sneak attack, you just need an ally within five feet. Uh, yeah. Then in that case, that would count for the sneak attack. Okay, just wanted to double check before I went and did stuff. Okay, in that case, got plus three. Just gonna Okay. So seventeen damage all told, non magic piercing. <laughs> Alright, so that doesn't include the hunter's mark? That does include the hunter's mark. It's it's Hunter's Mark is a D six plus the two D six from uh uh what's the word? Sneak attack, so I just stuck them together. Yeah, okay, okay, fair enough. Um, might be useful in future, uh, I know it might be a little bit more cumbersome, but it might be useful if you do it in future just to have them as separate, because I'm currently counting the Hunter's Mark as a magical uh, mm -hmm. attack, um, because it is technically like a magic being applied extra on the damage, so I'm actually taking that as being uh, the the full damage, not half of it. Hmm. Uh, but yeah, okay. Uh, in that case, yep. Yeah. Alright, cool. I got, uh, got the amount. If you're talking, we can't hear you. Me? No, oh, Dawn. I'm no, Dawn. so sorry. <laughs> it's okay, I figured that was the case. <laughs> yeah, no. No, that's that's all my that's all I got. We're good. <laughs> alright, alright. Um I guess Azumi, you're up. Let me it's probably me this psychic stuff. Or resistant at least. Um give me a sec. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure. Fair enough. Um, I think he's just gonna go for the attack again. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Roll to attack. He's a little angry. <laughs> <laughs> he has the right to be angry. Real angry. That was a fucking nineteen. <laughs> wow. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, that's gonna hit. <laughs> Roll damage. Oh boy. <laughs> he 
He got max all the fire damage. Oh <laughs> god. He really is angry. He really is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fuck you. Uh, angry for real. <laughs> alright, cool. Um, alright, anything else you want to do? Bonus action, disengage, and try to get, like, ten feet back so he doesn't get swiped at, I guess. Alright, uh, alright. Yeah. Just back towards the door? Uh, north. North. Alright, alright. Going up. Shit, wait. No. Um, I already used my action, though. I was gonna ask if it's possible to, like, roll something to see if he can tell what is, like, if it's just the the magic that it used in that instant that healed it, or if there was, like, something else, but... Yeah, you... Uh, I'm happy to take, like, it, those sort of rolls as, like, a bonus action, because I feel like it's a bit mean to take it as a full action but you did use your bonus action to disengage. Yeah, yeah. so I'm just like ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> well, Sorry. <next> <laughs> alright, alright, so you are yep, moving north. Or heck, maybe Routine could, because oh. I don't know if he has a bonus action <laughs> in mind. A bonus action? For what? <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, uh, well, Azumi was wanting to use a bonus action to figure out something about the magic that oh. healed the, the thing, whether it was the same thing that blinded it or, like, a separate uh, other feature, oh. I think, was, well. was the gist. But Azumi already used his uh, bonus oh, action to disengage. Okay. I mean, yeah. I would not mind. <laughs> I think it is your go. Unless Azumi has anything else? Uh, yes, it is... Oh. oh. That was my turn, sorry. Hey. Alright, cool, yep. Virgin, you're up. Alright. Uh... <laughs> um, yeah, you know, I will use the bonus action to try to figure out a little more about the statue, both based on what Spex had yelled out and also what happened with the Zumi. So... <laughs> yeah, alright. Um, uh, hmm. Perception or insight, I'll say. What do I do? Okay, yeah. I'll probably end up using perception. <laughs> My insight, it's not great, but I was afraid you were going to say investigation. Uh, because that's even worse. <laughs> I mean, you can also roll investigation if you want. I will take any of those three. I could roll investigation as a tree. <laughs> I would rather yep. not. I think I would much rather not. Okay. Okay. Oh, cool. alright. Uh, how do I spell? Okay. Alright, that's a dirty 20. Yeah. Can finally see for once. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. Um, so, is there anything in particular that you want to find out? Uh, you said that you want you want to know more about what Spec said. Um, what, what else? Um, well, because Spec had said that that it can heal itself. Um, but we don't know whether or not that's connected to the kind of cone of light that it casted on Izumi. So he wants to know if they were connected or not, where it's just a correlation, blah, blah, blah. Okay, okay. So what I can say is that, um, that it definitely seemed to be like it was 
it's definitely um the damage that is being done to it doesn't seem like it's doing as much uh, as it should like um it, it definitely looks like there were were a couple of like uh the damage from karma should have done more it uh definitely it's surprising that it managed to move so well for like a statue that big in um in uh specs shatter things like that um azumi's sword seems to be doing pretty decent damage to it um as but it, it definitely did look better uh right before it um it cast the um the the cone like it sort of like straightened looked better and then it lifted its hand um and cast the spell so you think it's not related to the um light show to the light show <laughs> all right makes sense not sure hmm. Well, I mean, okay. I mean, that means that, like, uh, it doesn't... There's something else. <laughs> yeah, there's something else. And it means that uh, it, it is not necessarily healing itself every time it it blows some lights at us. <laughs> Which yeah. is... God, imagine. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Alright, he's, he's only about 10 feet away. Um, ah, but <laughs> but my question is, I don't know how Routine's gonna tell about this info. Does he just shout it in the void? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, just do it. You can. It's all talking here, you. Yeah. I mean, because <laughs> cause he doesn't know Zumi wanted that info too, <laughs> you know? To be fair, Specs just shouted out their info, so... Mm -hmm. Alright, cool. I think it's safe to assume that we can just shout out what we find. <laughs> We're all doing our own analysis and going, Alright, guys! Yeah. Yeah. That's good in combat. I mean, that, yeah, that does work. Mm -hmm. um, At least when your enemy doesn't care. <laughs> I mean, so far, it doesn't. <laughs> it's just, it's just it's standing it's here. Unless your enemy... Just decides to go, oh no, my only weakness! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was gonna say, it hasn't said otherwise. Yeah. Yeah, it really hasn't said otherwise. Um, but, um, yeah, he, he's gonna let the group know um, that. I'm trying to think how he would phrase it. <laughs> he thinks it's slightly more simplified. Not too simplified. Um, it's not healing itself. Uh, not with a light thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a different. What else is it going <laughs> to? It's a different feature. Different ability. <laughs> he's he's going to shrug. Uh, <laughs> um. Now, he's also still going to attempt to put the jewel, not in his hammer space, but just in his regular coat pocket. Like, is that gonna work, or...? Um, yeah, that'll work. <sighs> lab coat pockets. <laughs> I can attest that lab coat pockets are fucking huge. They are! I love they them are. so much! I put all my stuff in! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Um, he still has an action he can use. I know that you said earlier that the, that the floor is mostly smooth. Kind of smoothish stone. Mm -hmm. Is there any portion of it so far that Routine could see within range that isn't? Like if it's more dirt or like open like rock or something? <laughs> Um, there is, um, okay, I'm going off of the, um, the title card here, um, so <laughs> there 
is some debris, uh, but it is in the corner <laughs> opposite to where you are. Great. <laughs> yeah, almost exactly. <laughs> almost Sorry. The exact opposite. <laughs> cool. Good to know. What the hell are you going to do now, little guy? Uh <laughs> Routine, do you happen to have Eldritch Blast? Um... <laughs> he kind of just... He gives Professor a look like... Where did that come from? <laughs> You're a wizard. Wizards I'm... tend to have it. No, warlock, sorry. <laughs> For a split second, you see Routine go, I'm a wizard now? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a <the> wizard. <laughs> I mean, he was pondering an orb earlier, but that doesn't make. Yeah. <laughs> no, but um. Uh, true. I'm surprised that Specs hasn't started pondering the orb. <laughs> Higher priorities. <laughs> yeah. Later. It'll be a later time. Um. But uh. He he kind of. It looks like it, it, he gets this pensive look and then goes. I, I think so. In that case, um, I think it might be, unless you have a better idea, uh, wise to uh, fire at the champion, seeing as we are trying to defeat it in order to uh, get Daisy out of the prison that they've been in for thousands of years. That is correct. He's even just sweating a little bit, like... He just nods, like, are you gonna use it? <laughs> you gonna do anything? <laughs> I like to think these two are having this conversation while everyone else is screaming in the background, attacking the scene. <laughs> yeah. Um... Hmm. I think that is something I could do. Out of character, you absolutely do not have to do that. Professor is oh, just... I know. He is used to routine <laughs> uh, kind of waffling and mm, doing other stuff. <laughs> yeah, he... And he's, yeah, and he's, he's thinking to himself, I have a warlock on my team. <laughs> like... <laughs> Like, damn, freaking do something. <laughs> yeah. For some reason, I keep thinking that, like, a uh, Rutin is a fucking druid, but I keep forgetting. Oh, wait, no, we saw him use Eldritch Blast that one time. You did not see him. No, he is a druid. One, he's never used Eldritch Blast. Uh, two, oh, wait, he no? is a druid. Uh -uh. He's both. Wait. Oh, yeah. oh, that makes so much more sense now. Oh my god. I just been thinking, like, are you a druid or are you a warlock? Which one is it? I was like, oh, right, multi-classing. Yeah. <laughs> multi-classing exists. <laughs> we have you know what I mean? There's, sometimes I forget that. We have that, been playing with it. these audience. We have been playing with these characters for quite a while. And I just found <laughs> that, realized this. <laughs> To be fair, though, I don't, um, I feel like no one but the professor at this point knows that, uh, Routine is a warlock, correct? I mean, <laughs> He's just revealed it to the party. <laughs> he has just said it out loud. <laughs> and everyone just looks at him like, y you serious? <laughs> oh, shut up, let's blast the thing already. Uh, um, um, okay, so he's, um... He is going to uh, just point a finger at this um at at the champion, um, and he's he's gonna make a, a ranged spell attack. I, am I far enough to do that, or I'll just blast um, a really far reach? I think. I think you're far enough. You look far enough. Yeah, it looks yeah. far enough. All right, cool. He's gonna, he's gonna attack. I sure hope he knows how to attack. 
because he hasn't <laughs> attacked literally up until this point. All right. Then. Routine, you're surprising me. Help. Right, um, mm -hmm. Anyway, does a twenty-two hit? Yes, a twenty-two will nice. hit. Nice. How are you, David? Uh, <laughs> as he casts this, um, I mean, most of you are spellcasters anyways, um, you kind of see this, this, this is a much lighter beam than you thought it would be, and you realize he hasn't cast Eldritch Blast, he's cast Ray of Frost. Um, hmm. fair enough. It's, fair it's enough, fair enough. Um, all right, let me see. So it hits, which is good. I forgot to take a D8 out from my bag. Because he wasn't planning on attacking it. I assume he's like, just freaking blasted. He's like, okay. It's not the right thing, but okay. Okay, okay, you don't have to yell at me. <laughs> now, okay. Since he's... Wait. Oh. Okay, no, so it's only going to be 1d8. Because <laughs> it's 2d8 when you're 5th level in Warlock. Yeah, in the... Yeah, he's yeah, only 3 Warlock. levels in each. Um, that's okay. But, um... That's going to be... 5 old damage. Um, but, uh... The champion's speed is reduced by 10 feet until Routine's next turn. Yes, nice. uh, that's that's. Uh, I was gonna ask if that that was the case because I I've used Ray of Frost before. It's a good spell. <laughs> yeah, there will be a time when he uses Eldritch Blast, just not now. Uh, <laughs> one day, one, one day, day, maybe blocky. today, but not right this second. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right. Um. Okay. Is that that your whole turn? Uh. Yep. All I can do. Okay, Professor, you're up. Well, I suppose that'll do. Um, <laughs> and uh, Professor is going to um, he's going to um, uh, put one f foot uh, in front of the other and just sort of uh, snap something um, on his shoes. Oh my god. Oh my god. And um, uh, they light up. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> um, they light up and uh, he uh, Let's see. What are you gonna do, Professor? Um, he's going to. He's going to. Uh. 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 Push off and uh. It, it kind of looks like gliding. Um, oh my God! He's got healing. He's uh, got healing. Forty forty feet north. Uh, and and while he and while he does that. Uh, he is going to, um, because he has, these, oh my god, these are, uh, gift, gift from, uh, Nebula, a wizard, um, the Heelys of Haste. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Uh, so Professor oh has, uh, in fact, uh, let me just pull up the spell Haste, um, <laughs> Has in fact cast uh, haste on himself, um, uh -oh. and with his uh, extra action, um, he is going to take out the uh, uh, wild card potion um, oh. and drink it. Oh, good. Uh, going for it. <laughs> Thank God. Um, so I have to roll a d6. Uh, let me just pull up the list so I actually assign the right number to whatever um okay where is it in my 
Okay, I got a one, so that means fuck me. All right. Um, <laughs> potion of growth. So he is fucking. <laughs> he is large now. It's he is large. <laughs> Uh, it's the kaiju battle. battle! Holy shit! <laughs> uh, this is incredible! <laughs> you know how, like, every game uh, in which we've done a fight with one of Kittle's bosses, something insane happens? I think this counts! <laughs> <laughs> so. Uh, Professor takes up four squares now. Uh, he is 12 feet tall. Oh, my God. Um. Uh, and, uh, he looks, uh, very pleased with himself. <laughs> um, and he just sort of shrugs and he goes, Well, you know, I had to make it more of a bit more of a fair fight um uh and with that uh uses his bonus action to give uh hmm, let's see uh specs you get a um bardic inspiration uh d10 nice oh fantastic hold I on i need to you. update my map <laughs> Just, i need I need you to know, when you say you pulled out those light-up shoes, I thought for a whole- like, I thought for a split second the professor was gonna start break that thing. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's just- He's just, just, he the the <laughs> he's just healing. Yeah, those statue things. <laughs> I, <laughs> yeah, I just thought for like a whole second. I thought for like a whole second, like, are you just gonna start break that thing? <laughs> In the middle of the battle. <laughs> I... This, this is exactly... I mean, did I know this was gonna happen? No. Did I know it was gonna be, like, some wacky shit that we're all gonna pull in here? Yeah. It was I, inevitable. I feel like I, I should say that yesterday, Oatmeal and I were in a VC together, and Oatmeal was alluding to a plan <laughs> that they had. Mm -hmm. I have a plan! <laughs> this is it. I... I, I had an inkling based on the questions you were asking me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Thanks for the bardic inspiration. You're welcome. <laughs> Alright, I guess then it's the champion's turn, and now I need to work out how far it can move. Okay. Love this game, guys. Yeah, uh, actually, it's so actually, good. I, I do need to roll something first. Oh my right, god, roll. this is so funny. <laughs> okay, um, okay, okay. Um, okay, I think I can move that far. Uh, it's a terrible circle. Listen, can anyone ever draw a really good circle? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, really. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Routine just like, man, yep. Professor's right. I gotta take this more seriously. Professor, immediately. <laughs> <laughs> Lights up and she skate, skates away. <laughs> <laughs> like, you gotta take this fight seriously. Immediately wheelies away. <laughs> Actually, wheelies yeah, away. Double the size. He wheelied he, he closer. Okay. <laughs> and on Healy's look quite a bit. So, uh, Professor, with yeah. you growing in size, mm -hmm. you might have caught the statue's attention. 
and it might be coming closer to um, where currently you, Rutin, and Azumi all are. Um, and I'll post its new position in the map. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. <laughs> um, oh, oh, okay. He is just grinning smugly at it. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um I Ruti's <laughs> just standing here. <laughs> yeah, uh, unfortunately I need uh Azumi, Rutin, and Professor to all make me oh wisdom God. saving throws. No, that was the <laughs> You have advantage. Uh oh. You all uh. you all have advantage because of uh, motivational speech. Oh right. Nice. And Azumi has musical star. Oh well my. you don't need it, I guess. <laughs> Wait, if you all have if we all have advantage, yes. Rutin, did you roll the advantage for the wisdom saving throw for the putting Daisy in your hammer space? No. Uh, but I'll keep it that way. I ain't changing it. <laughs> Alright then. Okay. I'll just be in my pocket. <laughs> Daisy in my pocket. Wait a second. Uh wisdom saving throw that is okay, yeah, yep. I thought so. Uh, I don't think this will be enough. I don't know. I'm feared at JPEG. Uh, Hi? Yes? Avi? I'm not sure if Candle hey? heard. Yeah, I heard you got an at 20. Yeah, yeah, no, I was oh. asking if you wanted a picture for it. Uh, no, nah, I trust you. For posterity's sake. <laughs> I mean, you can post a picture of your new dice if you want to. Uh, I'm not yeah. stopping that, but I, I will trust you on that. Uh, 18. Oh, Remember nice! Okay, uh, uh, pray for the first one because it is a metal dice. Whoa! Ooh. Ooh. Nice metal? Ooh! <laughs> All right. Right. Tiny. Well, if it makes you feel any better, Oatmeal, I'm pretty sure I'm the one who's cursed with the, um... <laughs> because, um, it raises its other hand this time. Mm -hmm. And it attempted to cast slow on you guys. Oh <laughs> my goodness. Oh. <laughs> wow. I'm, okay. But I'll all of know. you made the DC. <laughs> oh. Professor Thank just you. raises his eyebrows like, really? <laughs> <laughs> She's on the other foot now. <laughs> <laughs> Still exceedingly smug. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> like, it's extra obvious because the professor's huge now. Uh huh! <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, yeah, that's its turn. It can't do anything while this turn. So, um. Alright. Uh, Beck, you're up. Okay. Uh, I want. Can I use a bonus action on myself? Real yeah. quick. Yeah. Can I. I want to cast Expeditious Retreat on myself. Which is a bonus action spell, which comes for being a toon. Yep. Yeah, I'm gonna cast Expeditious Retreat on myself as a bonus action, and then for my action. Uh, I got six dice over here, and I want to cast Lightning Bolt, <laughs> but first, Expeditious mm. Retreat. Fair enough. Yeah, I'm gonna... Expeditious Retreat. Should I put that in the chat? Uh, it gives you, um... Yeah, put it in the chat. It's okay, been a while. How do I use, how do I use Avery for this? Uh, exclamation What's point the... spell, and then you click on look up spell and start typing the name of the spell. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Neat. Yeah, it gives you a little prompt. Expeditious retreat. Yeah. Yeah. And then we got lightning bolt coming up. 
So That's for fair. that, I for that I'm gonna need you to roll a Constitution saving throw again. All right. Yep, I can do that. Is this one uh, just a regular one, not at disadvantage? No, it's not this because it doesn't. E wait. No, yeah, I don't think it's at disadvantage, so just regular, yeah. which is at advantage. Yeah. Oh, I also want to move... Before I cast Lightning Bolt, I want to move, like, uh, to, like, 30 axe... 30... 10? 30, 10, I think? On the on the map? 30, oh, like, right, axe yeah. 30 the by coordinates, 10. Yeah. yeah, the coordinates. Um, okay, let me see. Which is basically like three blocks away from Karma. X thirty Y ten. Yep, yep, yep. Three blocks away from Karma. And three whole city blocks. And I'm gonna roll for the damage because even if you fail, you still take half of it. So I got yep. six dice all lined up over here. I was just stacking them this entire time. Beautiful. Updated map. Oh, that's not. Oh, that's not very good dice damage. Damn. Well, I have good news for you because it it didn't roll well. <laughs> oh. I don't think a, I don't think a nine's going to do it. <laughs> yeah. No. Absolutely not. Uh, I rolled a three, a two, a five, two ones, which kind of suck, and another two. 3, 2, and 5, that's 10, 2, 1's 12, and then what was the last number? Uh, 2, so 14 in total. Alright, cool, thank you. Not the best, but hey, I guess. Hey, it could be worse. Yeah, could be worse. Alright, alright, uh... That is the end of initiative order, uh, so... Oh, wait, real quick, sorry, real quick, real quick. If I'm correct, you said there was a bunch of rubble to the side over here, right? Yes, it's it's still just a bit further. I think you'd need to move two blocks uh, to, to your left in order to get, um, in order to, get to it, but uh, it's there. It's definitely there. Okay, okay, cool, 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 neat, neat, neat. Okay, now you can go. Yeah, all right. Uh, top of the order. Karma, you're up. <laughs> well, Karma's cackling after the lightning bolt and also the giant professor because really, <laughs> <laughs> really. <laughs> but yeah, he's he's just gonna continue with the shooting. Yep, go. Go for it. Right. Seventeen hit? Yes, the seventeen will hit. Yay. Alright. See here. I should put the damage in the chat. You can also if you just do exclamation mark R and then num all of the numbers plus together it will calculate it for you. Oh right. Uh, fuck, what was my roll again? Uh, I believe it was two, three, five, one, one, four. Was it? Let's see here. Okay. Oh, my short term memory loss. Uh, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> All right, all right. Uh, okay, cool. Thanks for that. Yeah. Hang on a second. I forgot that it was 2d6 for the sneak. Yes, do add that extra. Yeah. Okay, so another two. Was all right, all right, that works. Working? Yeah, I was... Mm. Okay, that's it. okay. Alright, cool. Um, I, um, 
this is your top of the order reminder that you are still able to roll um, things like investigation, insight, perception, if you want extra information about how this battle is going, um, because I am only going to tell you as of the current state of your roll and not anything that happens afterwards. Um, how bad does it look? <laughs> I mean, you'd have to roll for that as a bonus action. This is just a reminder that I, I can and will give you extra information if you want it. Yeah, like I... Perception 19, how bad? <laughs> um, how screwed are we? Uh, okay. Uh, so, um, you have damaged it. You don't think you've made a huge dent in it yet. Um, but... It doesn't look like it's healed itself since um, mm. since last time. Mm. Well, that's nice. Interesting. Mm. Lightning bolt. Maybe. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> um, okay, uh, Azumi, you're up next. Uh, can I roll something for, uh, I guess f trying to figure out what is, what did get it to heal? Uh, roll me insight. Oh, you're asking at this point of insight. Okay, give me a second. <laughs> I mean, yeah, okay, maybe that's a moot point, but yeah, that's the roll I'm gonna to take. Um, yeah, okay. Um, Azumi, it hasn't healed since Specs attacked it. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's good. It hasn't healed since a tune attacked it. Oh, God. Oh, 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 oh. Uh oh. I am the chosen one! <laughs> <laughs> Specs? Huh? Yeah? You just see Specs running. I think you're our ace in the hole. Wait, what? <laughs> I think you're our ace in the hole. Am I? You just see Specs running in the background, like, towards the rubble. Don't worry about that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just keep doing damage towards it. <laughs> Specs gives you a thumbs up. Routine, you should also uh, do that. What? He looks up at it you like a toddler. Healed... <laughs> it hasn't healed since a tune hit it. Oh. Right. Something, something, a uh, child defeats my champion. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> now he's, he's thinking yeah. about that. He's like, uh oh. <laughs> the statue about to catch these hands. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least someone's on board with this. <laughs> Specs um, is very on board with this. <laughs> Specs is so on board with this. <laughs> And just see the murder in their hat. <laughs> and you see the murder in their specs, I guess. <laughs> um, Azumi, it's still your turn. Oh, right. Uh, so, since Professor is large and with, I think, within five feet of the, the statue, that would allow for. Uh, Sneak, sneak, right? Yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm going to do an attack. And I believe Go for Sneak it. does the same 
like main damage as the weapon, right? I think so, yes. Okay. Twenty one to hit. Yep, that'll hit. For a second, I thought that was twenty one damage. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, no, that, 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 that one that'll hit. Okay. Uh, give me a second. I'm gonna roll all these dice and separate them for mm -hmm. you. <laughs> Thank you. Getting his sneak is five d six. Nice. Oh, nice. Oh, internet, please. No. Oh, nope. Haven't seen anything yet. Hmm. I swear to god, if I have to resend it. <laughs> you can also just tell us the amount if you want, and then we can wait. Six plus three... I forgot the multi line, but six plus three magical piercing. Four plus two fire... So that's, uh, uh nine so plus that's, six. Yep, yeah, nine plus six, so fifteen. Uh, yep. Two plus two plus five plus one plus five, fifteen on the sneak. <laughs> well, <laughs> okay, there, there, it's, there it's coming in. Um, it's very, very slow. Um, <laughs> so, okay, fifteen, uh, uh -oh. plus, yeah, plus fifteen, okay, thirty. 30 damage or that's, that's a lot of errors. Beautiful. <laughs> it couldn't handle the sheer power. <laughs> mm -hmm. We just went, uh, gave a tip, and then Discord tried to nerf him. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nice, nice. Alright, well, um, in that case, yep, um, you sure did a decent damage to that <laughs> that statue. <laughs> In fact, I think maybe like a chunk of its leg comes off or something like that. <laughs> Fuck this thing in particular. <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you are so valid. Alright, if you have, uh, is there anything else you want to do? Oh no, that's his turn. Alright, in that case, um, Rutin, you're up. Great. <laughs> <laughs> MURDER! KILL IT! <laughs> oh, you're right in the action now, Routine. Yeah, he doesn't want to be right in the action. <laughs> he wants out of this corner. <laughs> uh, um, <clears throat> well, I want to see... I just thought about what he could do. <laughs> mm. All right, I, th I think ah. Oh. Man, it's a toss-up between <laughs> using my bonus action for something 
and using it to gather more information. <laughs> I want to know more. <laughs> mm -hmm. Ooh. Mm. All right, I'll flip a coin to decide. Why not? Fair enough. Flipping a coin is my favorite. Yeah. All right, cool. <laughs> Okay, um... <laughs> so, I'm sorry, what does disengage do again? Uh, it's an action. Uh, it means you don't get opportunity attacks when you leave the area of attack. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Great. Uh... <laughs> Although, are you within the area of attack? Because you're not within five feet of it. Oh, um, I didn't know if its range was 5 or 10, is the thing. Mm, I its range is is 10. Ah, alright, alright. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, no, that's Because it's, it's a huge... Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's right. really big. Yeah. <laughs> the statue's really big, and now the professor's big. What is <laughs> happening here? <laughs> yeah. What's going Please, on Andy. over here? <laughs> But, um... <laughs> He's going to use his action to disengage. And then he's gonna use his bonus action to cast Expeditious Retreat. He wants out. He wants out. <laughs> he doesn't like being back to the corner! He doesn't like this! Um, he still has his movement, okay. though, so does he get to move double his movement for this turn? Uh, no, because it, uh, I think, uh, at least from the the one in the chat, it said that uh, you can um, you can cast dash as a bonus action. Come on, it says when you cast the spell and then as a bonus action on each of your turns. Okay. So, and the dash action takes your movement speed. Is the thing. Uh so it doubles your movement speed. So, okay, so wait, you can so you can... can do that, but you don't instead of getting thirty plus something, you just double it to sixty. Oh. Because Okay. You're, yeah. Oh. Wait, so he can move sixty. Uh with the bonus action casting exp expeditious retreat, yes. Yes, yes, sorry, that that is correct. Um, it's been a while since I've used, I've seen this spell, so I... It's yeah. okay, it's been a bit for me, too. <laughs> yes, uh, yeah, yeah. Great. Pretty much. Uh. <laughs> and hey, as long as you uh, and Specs both keep it up with concentration, uh, you can do that every bonus action from now on. We can just go new. We can um. just go new. <laughs> but that that right, does take your first. does take your movement, so keep that in mind when using it. Yeah. All right, where are you where are you going, Rujin? All right, I'm going to <laughs> I'm going around. Um. Uh. So I'm gonna go to. Uh, I'm going to X, 10, Y, 15. Like, the square that's in there. I'm... Yep, he's booking I it. I see it. He's going. <laughs> he's going. He's gone. He's not doing this. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Very toony of you, Routine. <sighs> you gotta take a breather, man. You guys are just... <laughs> Routine's like, oh, I don't, like, oh, god, this is so intense, and me all specs is like, murder! Kill! <laughs> Bite, maim, kill! <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you are on top of the rebel pile. I am assuming that was the intent. Hooray! Wait, so Wait you're on top, top of, of the rebel pile? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, so, wait, is the hey, rebel pile time. one five-foot, like, square, or...? Uh, I, I think it's, um, I, I'd probably say that it's kind of like a W, uh, with you at the center point. Um, hold on, I can, I'll, I'll sketch it out and you can see. <laughs> okay, because I, 
Routine might not know, but I know <laughs> that Max has a plan. So don't worry about it. I have a feeling I I don't know. Got a funny feeling about what you're gonna do. <laughs> Ah. Oh, yeah, and I'm so on the <laughs> Oops. I, You are on the rubble currently, but yeah, it takes up a, a couple of, like, squares. Ah, neat. Um... Oh, I know what you're gonna do. <laughs> Me pointing at pencils, I know what you're doing! <laughs> Don't- what do you mean? Well, okay, I have a feeling. But anyway. Um, but there's- there's plenty of rubble pile to go around, uh... <laughs> yeah, there is. I think. Yeah, uh, fair enough. <clears throat> okay. Concern. Uh, if you have a Wait, what? Do either of y'all have catapult? Is that what's going on here? I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe? Specs. I was going to say, don't ruin it for them, okay? <laughs> Let them mm -hmm. do it. I mean, we know Specs anyway, has catapult I'll... because of the peanut butter from Finding <laughs> the Joy. The peanut butter and stuff. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. I, I almost forgot about the peanut butter. <laughs> God, yeah. I'd forgotten oh, about the peanut butter. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe I forgot about one of my best things I've ever done, the peanut butter <laughs> catapult. Okay. Um... Well, you already drew me there. Um, I yeah, I guess he'll just stay here. <laughs> oh, okay. Yep. Sure. Oh. In that case, okay, we are okay. <laughs> uh, in that case, uh, Professor, you're up. Okay. Um, I know what I want to do. Um, I have to ask my party members. Um. <laughs> How, uh, how, I, I, I'm pretty sure if a target is prone, you have disadvantage to hit them with melee shit. Mm -hmm. If you're within five feet, if I remember right. If you're within five feet, but if you back up, you're okay? Um... I thought it was, um, you have disadvantage to hit if you're more than five feet away from it. Um, yeah, like, but ranged attacks, you, are, you can't within, hit. Yeah, ranged within melee can. range, you can. Like, you get advantage. Is that correct? Yeah, because, like, on, give me a second. like, pretend you're in the middle of the fight. Someone goes on the ground. You can't really hit them from far away because um, now you can't see them so well. They have but if you're right on top ducked. of them... Yeah. Ah, yeah. Mm, okay. Like, I see. Oh my god. Alright, well, uh, I apologize to, uh, some of you, but, um, <laughs> uh, what the professor will be doing is, um, uh, he's going to, uh, take out his sword, um, and, uh, he is going to, uh, hmm. Did your sword also grow with you, or is yes, it just a bit smaller it does. now? No, it does. <laughs> okay, okay. It's, this is, this Sorry. is, this sword is nearly 12 feet long. Holy. <laughs> oh, wow, that's a big sword. <laughs> yeah, it's huge. Um, and he's kind of right up in its grill. Uh, so he, uh, he shifts his weight a bit and, uh, just kind of, like, slides the thing out of his, uh, pocket and then, uh, shifts forward and, uh, jams the thing as hard as he can into this thing's neck. Oh. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, and okay. I'm, I'm going to, uh, roll to hit. Uh, yep. hmm. Well, uh, let's see, seven plus 
Jesus. God, you gotta be fucking Sorry, kidding me. Yes? Yeah? Kaiju fight. <laughs> <laughs> I said that! I kept saying kaiju fight! Kaiju fight. Kaiju fight. Kaiju fight. Kaiju fight. So, uh, that is a 12 to hit, which I don't think will do it. Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, it's not gonna hit. I think maybe you, yeah, you can't get that quite that it probably, high, maybe? Or it just, well, I mean, with that kind of reach. Actually, it, it probably, like, glances off of, like, a shoulder pad or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. It's a big armored stone thing. Yeah, um, it, it still has armor on. <laughs> yeah, but uh, uh, but with kind of the position of the sword, uh, he is going to he's going to use his second action. Um, well, that was the attack action, so that accounts for the one he he's given by haste. Uh, and then he is going to use the uh, shove action uh, to make a, I think, contesting athletics. Um, target must be no more than one size larger than you uh, and must be within your reach. Uh, make a strength athletics check contested by the target's athletics or acrobatics all right, all right. Uh, the target yep. chooses. Uh, okay, okay. So, alright, I can do that. I think you probably can tell which one it's going to go for. <laughs> yeah, I could guess. Hmm, okay. Uh... <laughs> alright, well, I got a dirty 20. Ah. Uh. Mm. Yeah, that's not enough. I'm sorry. You definitely get it oh, to take yeah. a step back, but it's not pushing it over. Yeah, yeah. He tried to, like, shove the flat of the sword's blade against it to shove it, and it did not do what he was hoping. It was a really good idea, um, but it's just still a little bit too too immovable for that. That's fair. That's fair. Um, uh, he is going to... Uh, let's see. How far can you... That's right, you can 60 feet. Um, I think I can get around to just behind it. Um like, between routine and it in a diagonal line, uh, with remaining mm -hmm. remaining in its melee range. So literally yep, just yep. sidling to the other side to <laughs> behind it. Okay, okay. So you want, it, uh, you want to be between it and routine, correct? Yes. Alright, alright. Uh, no. <laughs> routine is like that. <laughs> well... <laughs> If you want to communicate this in character. <laughs> no, it's funnier. Alright, I'm out of the range and stuff. And the professor immediately goes here because I'm like, God darn it. I'm just, I'm out of range. Come on. Come on. Also, the way the professor is moving is like kicking off with one foot and uh, just sort of <laughs> careening uh, around on the heelys. Uh, oh, I got the healing. <laughs> and and spinning into oh place God. behind it. <laughs> God, oh my incredible. God. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. All right. And that's your action. Uh, those those are my actions. Uh, and uh, for bonus action, uh, let's see. What have we not done? What have we not rolled for this thing? Um. Uh, we did a perception, right? Yeah, I think uh, Kama rolled perception and then Azumi rolled insight. Okay. Um, since I'm... Uh, hmm. 
since I'm kind of in its grill, uh, can I roll, uh, investigation for looking specifically for, like, physical weak spots? Yeah, go for it. Cool. Oh, come on. Ugh. I, I, it's terrible rolls. Um, that is a, uh, ten. Uh, yeah, I think you're a little bit too preoccupied to be able to tell much about it other than that it is, it is big and it is made of stone. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. Um, yeah, no, that's, uh, everything for, uh, for Professor. Fair, alright, uh, then it is the champion's turn. Alright, I have a couple things to roll. Alright. Almost dropped my dice. Oh, it is no longer um, debuffed uh, 10 feet of movement because it's been around yeah. since routine, routine right, casting. Right. Yeah. Alright, okay. Uh, Alright, um, it's going to attack her. Mm -hmm. uh, you, <laughs> Professor. <laughs> Oh, why am I not so. surprised? <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I mean, to be fair. I have made myself a huge glowing target. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, I am. I, I actually, I am going to roll one thing first, see if it is smart enough to maybe not do this. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, it's better attacking the professor than attacking me. Yes, it is. Well, okay. <laughs> Yeah, so the thing is, um, both the Professor and Azumi are in range, and no. Azumi did 30 damage to it. <laughs> but mm. Professor is big and really inconvenient right now. <laughs> <laughs> kind of a menace, not gonna lie, the statue. Yeah, okay, that that's a pretty good roll. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, no, um... <laughs> It's uh -oh. it's turning from you and it's gonna try and hit Azumi instead. Oh man. Uh oh. Still have this advantage because of blur. Yes. Yep. Um can I uh can I use uh reaction cutting words to further cut down its uh attack roll? Uh <laughs> how does cutting words work again? Mm -hmm. uh, I will uh, cutting words as a reaction when a creature that's not immune to being charmed that's so is it or not uh, it's it's immune to charms well, sorry okay uh, if you want me to just sp if you want me to spend the bardic inspiration uh, then I will do it because I professor didn't know that um, but it basically uh no, no, no. It makes an attack roll, uh, ability check, damage roll. You can expend a use of bardic inspiration and subtract that number from the creature's roll. You can do so after the roll, but before knowing the result. So that was yeah, Professor's that... intention. So it is up to you, the DM, for Professor to have spent it or not. Because I know now that it is immune to being charmed. Professor did not. Uh, I have mm, I have another one of these, so like it's okay if I lose one. Yeah, I, I mean, think I, would, um, I, I think unfortunately. Well. Sorry. Like, yeah, I mean, I would assume that because sorry, like I would assume because it's a statue, you would like have the sense that you can't really charm it, right? No, no. you'd be <laughs> shocked. <laughs> Okay, fair uh, enough. Uh, unfortunately, I'm going to say that um, that it, it is going... You do you do cast it, and it doesn't have an effect. Yeah, yeah, I'll have spent it. Basically, uh, the, the flavoring would be uh, Professor uh, said something to the effect, like, hey, pick on someone your own size, <laughs> but it did not distract uh, the statue. Okay. Okay. It has uh, it has two attacks 
Um, <laughs> and is going to use both of them on Azumi. Oh. The first one was a three. <laughs> <laughs> I am pretty sure that's not going to hit. Nope. Uh, uh, it's disadvantage, right? Yes, I rolled it at a disadvantage. <laughs> okay. The second one I also rolled for at, at disadvantage, and that one's an 18. Mm. Beats it. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I thought so. Ah, uh, okay. Um, well, it um, it slams down one fist, and as you you manage to get out of the way, and then it slams down its, its other fist, and this one hits you, and I'm gonna roll the damage. Hit me! <laughs> Jump jumps out of the way of one fist, only to get hit with the other one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is how this is how you missed back. immediately gets stuck. Like, immediately gets <laughs> fucking bashed. <laughs> bashed. Yeah, that was like bashed. <laughs> oh, is that coming through? Uh, I saw- I see a 23. This word but that no, was your other. No, that's before. no, it didn't come through. It uh, it doesn't like it. Um, I guess I'm gonna just have to tell you that's uh, that's 19 bludgeoning damage. Yikes. 19. Oh my god. I need to yeah. roll. Uh, concentration on blur. Yeah. Yep. All right. There goes your um, uh, motivational speech. And since it's above, uh, I just have to, like, beat, like, half the damage taken, right? Uh, I yeah, feel it's like either it... half the damage or, or ten, whichever is higher. Yeah, yeah. So, um, I, I think that, that definitely, you keep your concentration. Yay. I... He looks a little hazy, but he's fine. <laughs> Yeah, you just got punched by a statue. <laughs> <laughs> That's like solid rock, man. He's fought worse. Mm. Fair enough. Now, come on, that is just not sporting. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't respond to you, Professor. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> um... But yeah, that's its turn. And uh, Spec, you're up. Catapult time, baby! <laughs> uh, yeah, make a dexterity saving throw. Hold up, let me put it in chat. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, I... I am trying to figure out whether this is... This counts as a magical... Effect? Yeah, that's what doesn't. I wanted to also figure out because is it ma like the thing that's magical is the thing propelling the object, but the object itself is not magical. That's what I was thinking. Okay, okay. I think I'm gonna say that it is not going to count as magical for because uh, it's bludgeoning damage, so it's not gonna count as um, a spell like dodging it. But it also isn't going to de count as a spell for. Um, for damage uh, resistance purposes. So, alright. Dexterity, you said? Yep. Cool. Oh, boy. Yeah, I okay. Oh. <laughs> what that, did it that, roll? That is an eight. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, wonderful, wonderful, yeah. perfect. Okay, so that is- I cast it with a second level, so that's 4d8. <laughs> Alright, yep, roll your damage. Uh, that- oh, 6, 7, 8, and 5. <laughs> nice. Oh, nice. Hey, uh, bud. So 6, 7, 8, and, and just 5. Uh, so, I think that's 30 damage all up. Um, no, wait. Um, six, seven, and eight is twenty-one plus five, twenty-six. 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 I can math 26. sometimes. <laughs> uh, I just 
just want to say for flavor, I don't know if I ever described how the catapult spell looked like for specs, but <laughs> I just thought, do. like, yeah, so what specs does, they're like looking through the rubble, it's like, no, not this, no, not this, no, not this. What ah, are you perfect. looking for? <laughs> and they find like a piece of rubble that's the si that's like around the size of like a baseball. <laughs> yeah. And they, they cast catapult and essentially they they make a baseball bat. Oh. <laughs> and they oh, just that is incredible. <laughs> throw the rock in the air and they swing. I have oh, a <laughs> Please tell me he says a pun or something along the way of uh, batter up <laughs> something like that yes absolutely specs literally just tosses into the air and they shout batter up and then they just fucking punt it <laughs> they just <laughs> it's like one of those anime moments but anyway <laughs> oh that is incredible um nice that's very nice I have um a very important question is Spex able yeah. to uh, either arc it or aim it in such a way uh -oh. that it does not hit the professor? Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Okay. Um, because roll the... me. <sighs> yeah, roll me a dex. Okay. Wait, hold on. I mean, wait, 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 wait. I could arc it so it barely hits the professor. Yeah, somehow. no. Like, um, if I was right next to the rubble. That, that's what I'm saying. Um, Specs, roll me a dex. Let's see how well you oh. aim it. Because you can definitely uh -oh. aim it. You can definitely <laughs> aim it above the professor's head. Um, so, but I want to see if it works. Yeah, if you how can well manage it, goes. it. Yeah. Because otherwise, I okay. have to roll a dex. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. So dex. Just straight decks? Plus, yeah, probably. Just... Uh, wait, let me check if I can. No, okay, yeah, just straight decks. I'm not... It's not sleight of hand or acrobatics, so... Yeah, yeah, I would... Uh, 14? It's a 12 plus 2. Yeah, um... Professor, what's your I mean, AC? That's the DC, that's the DC of the spell. Like, what my spell save is. Uh, well, uh, my AC uh right now because of uh haste is uh nineteen. But yeah, okay. Uh, it's gonna hit the it's gonna hit the statue and it's not gonna hit Professor. Okay. Nice. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> he, I think he just but, sort of like reacts a bit, like surprised seeing it impact, like a bit above his head, and just looks back, like, <laughs> "Nice shot." Thumbs up. <laughs> Like, the baseball bat is, like, slightly smoky. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Routine's sitting here in slight fear. <laughs> but yeah, that's Spex's turn. Cool. Do you have any uh, actions or bonus actions or anything like that you want to take? Sorry, well, any I bonus could, actions? Ex I could expeditious retreat, but, like, I have so much ammo over here. <laughs> 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 yep, fair you, enough. You could also use your bonus action to do some sort of check about the oh. um, statue. Right. Uh, I tried what was the check that the professor oh. tried to do but failed? Investigation. Which was partially I because I was up close to it, but you... I mean, it's within, uh, like, bright light for you, so you might be able to still get something, even though you're not super close. Okay, I'll try doing an investigation. Like, yeah. I'm gonna yeah, use this new fancy dice I got. Hmm. When you're an intelligence caster, that should be a decent roll. Oh, yeah. It's 16 plus 6, so... Oh, hell yeah. 22. Yeah, that's high. Yeah. Very high. Okay, okay. Uh, and you wanted to know weaknesses and stuff, correct? Yes. All right, well, I can give you two things for that. Uh, first of all, uh, 
Is this thing, uh, I, I'm, uh, I'm not sure what the, uh, the, what the rock equivalent is, but it's, <laughs> it's definitely looking pretty bloody. <laughs> um, it's got cracks you, all over you think, it. Yeah, you think you've maybe taken it below half health now. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Nice. Um, it, uh, yeah, it still hasn't healed up again. Um, and as for, um, in terms of, like, looking for weak spots, um, okay, this thing is pretty solid, and, um, like, obviously the person who made it made it to be fairly well-rounded and not, like, have any obvious weaknesses or anything like that, mm. but, uh, pretty much everything it's done so far has been using its hands. Mm. Oh... Uh, uh. Might be able to um, nerf its attacks if we bust up the hands. You just hear Specs shout out loud, like, <laughs> Chop its hands off! Yeah. <laughs> chop its hands off! Just chop them off! Uh, <laughs> I'll do my best. <laughs> Routine now looks at horror. <laughs> <laughs> Just like, this kid is dark. Zooey <laughs> <laughs> <Dewey> was bad. <laughs> okay. Um, so we're at the end of the initiative order again. And I have posted the updated map. Mm -hmm. uh, as mm -hmm. you can see, you have used up one of the uh, five by five blocks of rubble. <laughs> There are four remaining. Mm. <laughs> um, no, no, four. four. Routine's on top of one. Oh, okay. I didn't realize. <laughs> <laughs> Just sitting on there. Like... Um, <laughs> at least, yeah, there, there, there is at least four piles of rubble currently um, at, at your disposal. Um, I mean, you could potentially make more if you wanted to, but that's also not without its own risks. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, it, um, yeah, so end of initiative order. We've also been playing for about two hours now. How are people feeling? Do we want a quick break? Yes. Please. Yeah, that might be good. Yeah. The man All right. Um, <laughs> five or ten minutes. Uh, how, how long do people want? Ten? Yeah, that Four. waits to like half the hour, right? Yeah. Yeah, half, yep. um, half past. All right, cool. Uh, see you guys in about 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. Yep. Bye.
I am back. Hello. How are you doing? Oh, I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> Having fun? Absolutely. I love fun fights like this. <laughs> Hello, I'm back. <laughs> I'm glad you guys are having fun. It's a fairly simple boss, but that doesn't mean that it can't be. Um, it, I love seeing what you guys come up with with things like this. Oh, wait. I forgot to close my door. Give me a sec. Mm -hmm. It's so much fun. Like, the candle, the second you said there's rubble on the side, I immediately. Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh, rubble, you say. Rubble is just small rocks, wouldn't you say? Yeah, yeah, definitely catapultable. Um, that's what happens when you you're having a boss fight in the middle of ruins. Yep. It's probably a good thing you haven't gotten it near walls because otherwise that could end badly. Yeah, probably, but it's fine. It's all fine. <laughs> yeah, still got uh. Still got probably about half of a fight left. I can just keep catapulting if I want to. <laughs> Man, I can't believe uh, I, I am absolutely delighted that the 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 uh, wild card potion gave <laughs> enlarged to the professor. <laughs> it's so it it's so, so it's so funny. It's literally a kaiju battle. It is. It came out beautifully. <laughs> so funny. Uh, who said that the plot isn't real? <laughs> <laughs> Professor did. <laughs> oh god, I love that this is like, this is like completely chance based, but if Professor ever brings it up to anyone in, in character, they're just mm -hmm. gonna be like, yep, that was the plot. <laughs> Yeah, the plot, man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> infuriated. That's the plot. I don't know what to tell you, man. That's the plot. That's the plot's work. It's like, no, I was prepared for any of the possibilities. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, you don't understand. The plot specifically chose the fact that you became huge to fight another huge thing in order to make it look like an epic kaiju battle. Professor <laughs> <laughs> just- right. No, no. After this, after this fight, like when we finally have a time to take a break or something, Specs is just gonna tell the professor this while also like sipping on a cup of tea or something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Man. Um, Wiki back. Yep. And Dawn. Yep. Alright, we good to keep going then? Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Alright, in that case, uh, Kama, you're up. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're just... Karma, Karma has nothing fun to do, it's just shooting things. Fair enough. I think it's fun. You get to shoot things. <laughs> He's good at it, so... Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm not that that's... good. I don't think a 13 will hit. <laughs> no, no, that won't hit, unfortunately. I think maybe the catapult rock uh, pushed it <laughs> off balance just enough that your shot missed. Also, a little bit of cackling, because seriously, what is this? <laughs> hmm. What 
what, what are you talking about? The glowing baseball bat that I conjured out of thin air? <laughs> and, and also the the giant professor and, and just the giant everything. Professor and, yeah, and the giant professor who's wearing light up shoes, light up <laughs> Heelys. Oh god, I forgot they were light up. This uh -huh. makes it so much better. <laughs> uh, it's, it's slightly a shame that uh, Azumi's sword uh, shed so much light because otherwise that would be really funny. <laughs> <laughs> they are, they yeah, are still it'd be like a rave party. Yeah, they're 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 bright enough that it's like visible, but uh, <laughs> especially against black shoes. Lord. But yeah, not quite as impressive as if it was still dark. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's 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 all Karma's got. He's over here just dying a little, <laughs> but <laughs> it's fine. Valid. <laughs> all right. Uh, then up next is Azumi. Right. I'm going for the ankles. <laughs> <laughs> Roll to attack. Sorry. Um, I, I'm going for the ankles specifically because I, uh, Azumi saw a professor try to knock this thing over and, like, um, uh, you know, maybe if we go for the supports. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but anyway, he's gonna attack. Alright, roll to attack then. Professor, to hit. Professor might yep, just that will hit. try the same move because he just kind of rolled bad. <laughs> Fair enough. takes up one ankle. <laughs> Rasta takes up the other. <laughs> Alright, roll your damage. It's gonna take me a second. You are so valid. Oh, by the same move, I meant the one he tried last time. Oh, ah. fuck, fuck. oh no. Hmm? Are you okay? Sorry, I just dropped like a whole bunch of dice. Oh. No! Nah. <laughs> the rebel! Oh, it's, it's, no. it's, it's fine. It's fine. Oh, wait. Azumi, did you take advantage on your attack? Does he get advantage? You, you do... Sp Oh wait, shoot! Nope, motivational speech is gone because you got so much mm. hit. Okay, never mind. Yeah. Yeah. Let's say, does he need it though? <laughs> nah, not for right now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, never. Pretty mind. Pretty decent roll on the attack. Mm -hmm. mm. Yep. Just waiting for it to come through. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, ten. Five sneak eighteen. Um, that's a, that's a fair amount. Uh, so twenty-eight uh, plus five is thirty-three damage total. Wow! Holy oh my God. God. Azumi said, "Fuck you." <laughs> Azumi is amazing. Go down. Yeah. Try to, try to get that opening for Professor to try and knock this thing over. Mm -hmm. uh, quick question. Does the sneak still work if the um, its attention was on you last? Because it attacked you um, last. I think... It, I don't believe the flavoring says anything about that. I think it just... Uh, uh, I, I have to either have advantage or someone else uh, within who five is feet towards the enemy. It, Which it, you do. Right, right. Be, yeah. yeah, no, that that that's that's that is true. Just wanted to double check. Um, yeah, okay. Damn, you did. Uh, you yeah, <laughs> you took out the ankle. I think with that hit. <laughs> he kind of like looks over to the professor. He's like, try again. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Um, alright, is that the rest of your turn? I don't know if you can do anything with the bonus action yet. Um, let me double check. You 
Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Unless we want to try and get more information. That's up to you. But, like, I don't know if we, like, need anything, so. Yeah, I'll leave that up to you. Only thing I can think of is, like, yeah, think... Arcana. But I can give it a shot. If you want. I mean, it, if you weren't going to do anything with your bonus action anyway. I mean, I feel like at the same time, though, it's kind of, like, self-explanatory because, like, it is it is a statue that, like, a goddess Enchanted. Made. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah, I mean, okay. Or enchanted. Uh, I still have something I could probably give you for O'Connor if you would like to roll it, but the DC might okay. be a bit. I can give it a shot. You also have a Bardic Inspiration D10. Oh, that's right. Give me a sec. So does Specs while it's on my mind. Okay. Oh, this is our. Oh, there it is. That's a 19 Arcana. Okay, okay. That. I think that'll be enough. Um, this piece of information isn't actually about the statue um as much as it is about the jewel um because uh you will have noticed that daisy hasn't said anything uh during this fight at all um and routine hasn't really put it back in his hammer space you think that there might be some sort of magic there that um that this is connected to this battle mm. like since you guys are intending it to be a way to get daisy out that it is prepping it for that mm. if you guys win mm -hmm. okay yeah I had a horrible idea when you spit that. I don't think I don't, it's gonna. I, I don't think that's what you mean. <laughs> Interesting. I don't. I don't know if you meant for it to be like that, but well, I, my brain just connected a couple of dots, and I said, "No, you shouldn't connect those dots." <laughs> now I'm, I'm curious. <laughs> <laughs> no, stop connecting those dots. <laughs> you haven't connected shit. <laughs> I mean, I think it just means that Daisy can't help us, and. Uh, that's it. Uh, this is my way of saying don't put the jewel back in your hammer space because uh, Daisy is going to expand <laughs> if yeah, you guys I win. thought about that. Uh. <laughs> oh, okay. So I thought for a hot minute you meant, oh, you got to use the jewel somehow to defeat the no. statue. And I was like, you don't want me to catapult it? I want to catapult it. That's not. <laughs> I mean, it wouldn't explode. It wouldn't break because it's like oh, that. God. But yeah, yeah, you'd have to roll pretty high uh, to damage it at all. Yeah, I think while it's, I, I mean, I think while it's not, uh, well, while it's the pr imprisonment spell is still on, I think it's it might even be indestructible. Uh, if I read that right. Mm. Mm. Yep. Uh, anyway. Well, hey, yeah, we know that now. That's good. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna try and pass it on. I am trying to figure out how he words it, though. Uh, give me a sec. Yeah, I think he's just gonna say, uh... Routine! Huh? Keep Daisy in your hand for now. But, uh, but... If we win, that thing is going to not be that small anymore. You do not want it in your hammer space. Okay, but it's not in the hammer space. It's in my pocket. It's going to go bigger and won't fit in your pocket. Don't damage your lab coat. It's a really nice looking lab coat. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> I mean, if you don't mind it ripping your coat, then... Fine. 
Uh, I guess he'll take it out of his pocket. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, it is your turn now, if that's the rest of Azumi's action. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm good with that. <laughs> Uh, he looks at the jewel in his hand. And he thinks about it. Um, he's gonna go in his other pocket. <laughs> um, he's gonna try something. <laughs> oh boy. Um, but before he does, um, so that space that Specs cleared of rubble. Um, is the floor pretty much like the same as it's been, or? Um, I mean the stones under it are uh, more cracked, but yeah. He kind of just looks at it and goes, uh, "That plan wasn't going to work anyway." Uh. <laughs> Um, but he's gonna pull out from his pocket, his other pocket. Um, it was like a little jar, wasn't it? Um, he's planning on using the dust that we got a while back. <gasps> oh, the dust uh, of disappearance? Yes. Ooh. Uh, oh. I mean, that item does have a um, uh, associated picture. Um, it's actually kind of like a small vessel uh, of like shaped glass it looks like a fairy and the dust is sort of in the vial that forms like the either the bottom of the dress or like the the legs or mm -hmm. something like that neat oh i always thought it was like a packet or something because like like fairy dust from peter pan or something i mean uh it could oh, be yeah, in a I packet see, no. but yeah i uh yeah, I'll put the image in the thing. There is yeah, a there yeah. is a canon image. Neat. That's not to say you can't put it in a different container. <laughs> as long as it's in a container. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it definitely is in a container. Um, my internet's being a little bit slow, so I'll let Oatmeal get that. Yeah, I've got it. Okay. So, um... Oh... That's cool. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Uh, yeah, so he's just gonna be like, okay. Uh, he's gonna pop the top of that for that and just dump it on himself. Now, I do um, know that okay. it affects uh, stuff around him in like a 10 foot uh, space. Yeah, yeah. Mm hmm. So, uh, I think Spec is within 10 feet of you. Are you trying to hit Spec as well? <laughs> Hold on, you and each creature and object within 10 feet of you. Uh... Oh my god, you're standing on top of all of the rubble that's within 10 <laughs> feet of you. Spec is going to be like invisible. I was like, oh god, where did the rubble go? It just died <laughs> while also being invisible. <laughs> I mean, Within 10 feet. Okay, so Professor's just outside of that, <laughs> right? Uh, yeah, T Professor is outside of that, unfortunately. Oh. All right. That's <laughs> well, fine. It, was, you it wasn't move. his intention, but he's doing it anyway. <laughs> okay, okay. Sure, go for it. All right, so now he's Can invisible. Can an invisible creature see invisible things? <laughs> no. That's a good question. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> also, please roll for me um, how long this is. Oh, yeah. You, you how many 2d4 minutes. minutes. Okay, 2d4. Hey, I had my d4 out. Let's go. All right. So it's, it's two of the d4 that I roll. Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. Oh my god. Alright, so I rolled... Uh, I rolled... Uh, I rolled... I rolled uh, two threes. 
so it's gonna be for All six right. minutes. Yep. You, Spec, and the uh, the rest of the debris are invisible for <laughs> six minutes, unless you attack or cast a spell. <laughs> Are you saying that this is just this is literally just for one thing because Spex is gonna attack the next round? I mean, this round. <laughs> yep. Oh well. He didn't think about it. He didn't think about it. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah. Could I like would Spex still get the general idea of where the rubble is because they're standing right next to it? Yeah. Uh, yeah. You probably know where the rubble is. You'd be able to. You'd probably be fine to get it. You could also walk okay, over cool. and feel for it, like... <laughs> you have the movement speed. That too. <laughs> I do, I do. Um, so that's his action. <laughs> um, now, right before... <laughs> I, I, right before Routine did that, um, which one was the biggest piece of rubble? Or, like, the biggest pile of rubble is what I meant. Uh, give me a second. <laughs> uh, I'm going to say, um, let's have a look at the image. Uh, probably the one on your left, like immediately to your left. I let nice. that's probably the biggest piece. He's um, well, while well, invisible, he's gonna kind of clamber onto that. Um, <laughs> okay. He's still in, he right. still has the jewel in hand and everything. Um. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have you roll me, like, athletics or acrobatics or something if you're trying to climb on this with, uh, while holding a jewel. <laughs> it's a, it's a athletics or acrobatics? Yeah, wait. The jewel, the jewel's, like, a little less than the size of a grapefruit, right? Um, it's about the size of a cantaloupe. Ah, right. Much, much bigger. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and uh, it is also currently invisible. <laughs> you well, he's better, holding it. He'll be well, fine. <laughs> you better hope you don't drop that thing because a spex <laughs> tries to feel for rubble and they feel something else. They're going to catapult it. <laughs> oh, no. So that's a nineteen in acrobatic. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. You do not drop the rock. You do not drop Daisy, and you do not fall off of the rocks trying to clamber up. I will say All that right. would have been a very funny thing, though. Yes, that would have been very funny. All right, I have one last little thing to do before we move on. Um, actually, maybe two things. We'll see. Um. No, we have already figured out most of the stuff about the statue, yeah? Um, yeah, at this stage. Alright, nice. Okay, so, <laughs> this is gonna be... I, I mean, you can roll, you can roll another perception at any point to find out its status, like how, uh, how much, uh, if you were to pick a number between an arbitrary scale of one, two, etc. What <laughs> what it looks like it's on, um, but um, yeah, that's about the only information I can continue to give you now. All right. Um, uh, we'll forget about that. Uh, <laughs> he's like, all right, I have my own plan. <laughs> all right, the last thing that he would like to do. This is gonna sound a little strange, but it'll make sense the next round if he gets to that point. Um, uh, he is gonna he's gonna take the jewel, and he's gonna kind of just like how do I phrase this? Because he's gonna put it up to his face, his mouth. He's not gonna like bite it or like eat it. <laughs> He's just he just has it there. Mm -hmm. Okay. I swear it'll make sense the next turn. He's just having this prepped. Okay. All right. That's it. That's all he's gonna do. <laughs> all right. Um. Okay. 
Oh, uh, <laughs> Professor, you're up. Um, Specs, Routine, the Jewel, and the Rubble have all disappeared. Um, yeah. <laughs> and Azumi has managed to chop off one of the, uh, like, chop through one of the statue's ankles. He just, like... <laughs> oh, I swear to the stars, Routine. <laughs> Um, but shakes his head because there are more pressing matters. Um, <laughs> uh, he is going to, uh, let's see. Uh, this time he's going to do, uh, kind of a wide slash, uh, at, uh, Eh. Hmm. No, yeah, kind of a above the shoulder diagonal slash uh into its head because he kind of hit the pauldron last time. Um so he's he's aiming a little better um with his uh yep. long sword. So I'm going to roll that. Pop its arms off. Yep, yep. Well, he's not able to do that yet. Um, okay. That might be a thing for a different turn. For, for this, he is he is specifically he has a specific goal in mind. That that can that. Like I'm like okay. Uh, the point. Um. Uh. Okay. I think that is a twenty-two to hit. Let me just make sure the math is correct. Yeah. 22. Yeah, that, that'll hit, definitely. Okay, excellent. Uh, so then I roll... Let's see. Where's my d10? I almost never use this thing. Ah! <laughs> Alright, that wasn't a roll. I dropped it. <laughs> no! Alright. Okay. Uh, mm, uh, Two-handed? Yeah, uh... And then I add a d4 because I'm fucking huge. <laughs> yep. Um, Absolutely gigantic. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... Uh, Look at the size of this man. Let's see, his slashing damage. I am just trying to figure out how to notate this. Nope, not like that. Uh, six plus one, uh, slashing, um, uh, this is just because I'm, it's not, like, spell-powered, it's just because I'm bigger, I do slightly more damage. Yeah, that's, that's fair, I get it. Uh, so, the plus two is also slashing, uh, so total... Yeah, uh, similar to the catapult in that it might have been a magical effect, but the damage itself is normal. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, if that didn't... Yeah, it's fine. That's fine. It's a uh, total of nine. That That's fine. Yep. Uh, so, yep, yeah, he does that. So he manages to do uh, a bit of damage uh, where he wanted. Yeah. Uh, but more importantly, he got the... Uh, sword in a good position uh, where he can uh, again sort of use the leverage of it with the flat of the blade uh, against this thing to try and uh, shove it for the other action uh, to the ground ideally and I'm going to make uh, an athletics roll at advantage because I'm large <laughs> yep. Please, please. Uh, and you make a contesting one, uh, either athletics or yep. acrobatics. Yep. Have you accounted for at all the sword um, helping you shove it? Uh, no. Out of curio. Uh, I add your weapon proficiency to your roll then, oh. as as a 
of you hitting it and getting it in there, uh, that that's the that's a little bit of extra leverage. Excellent, thank you. Okay. Um, this plus athletics plus uh, proficiency bonus. Okay, that's a 21. These rolls are not great. In. Oh! <gasps> that will be enough. Oh. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you have managed to shove it off balance. Um, would you like to. That has knocked it prone, correct? Yeah, I, I think I have the option to do it um, prone or push it five feet away from me. I want to not get prone. Yeah, yeah. Not okay. Prone. <laughs> you have successfully managed to push the statue over. <laughs> yeah, kind of better. resounding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and the good news is, unlike last time you tried this, I am not uh, there is no one behind it, so I don't need to make anyone roll any deck saves. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, okay, yeah. So it is prone now, um, but it is its turn, uh, assuming mm. you don't have anything else to do. Uh, I can still do a bonus action. Um, yep. Let's see. It casts stuff, so there's not a whole lot of point in me hopping out of range. Um, not much point in that. Uh, those things are not bonus actions. Um, I don't have any bonus action spells, do I? Oh, that one. Yeah, no, that's not going to work. Um, uh, let's see, who have I not given... Uh, I'm just going to... He's... Yeah, he just, uh, turns and, uh, grins at Karma, uh, and you get a Bardic Inspiration. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> that is my last one. Very nice. Um, hmm. I am wondering whether it should take any full damage, actually. Um, it's... Hmm. I mean, it's... I mean, it's made of stone. But... It is big. I mean, if you just want to do... Because, like, if you just want to give it, like, uh... I don't know, like, one one or two d6 or something, just just a little bit. Yeah, yeah, all right. I'll give it one d6, see how that goes. Yeah, because it's not falling super far. Just kind of go and plop. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It. Okay, okay. Um... Yep, all right, it took a, a little bit of damage. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, and now it's its turn. So, all right, time to roll some stuff again. Mm -hmm. God damn it, that's like the third one I've rolled. <laughs> <laughs> mm, oh no. Oh god. It, it's got a, um, it's got a, um, D6 ability. Well, it's got a couple of them, actually. And I've rolled two ones. Mm. There's three ones and a two. Oh. <laughs> actually, four ones if I count the first one. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, God. It's been doing so good. Man. Um, but uh, it is going to use its movement to get back to its feet. Okay, fair enough. Uh, alright, and I'm going to roll it. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to roll it another another mint slash int wisdom to see who it decides to attack this time. Mm. Hmm, okay. Um, that's still above a 10. Uh... <laughs> Yep, 
Yeah, okay. I think it's going to... I think it's going to... Uh, you may uh, try something, Professor, if you want to get its... Uh, like, uh, want it to not attack Azumi again, but Azumi is still the person it's done the most damage to it. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> it's going to try and hit Azumi again, unless um, you do something. Yeah, I don't think I have a... Uh... Uh, it's not moving out of my space. Um, if it's going to cast a spell, I can do counter spell. If it looks, if it like raises its hands, no, no, not magic. No. Okay, it's it's not magic, unfortunately. Okay, okay. Um, in that case, all he can really do is just uh shout at it and uh stomp his foot and try to get in its face like hey all right do you want to roll me a performance then perhaps sure i'll roll a performance that's a 10 yeah that's not gonna cut it sorry professor yeah <laughs> it's gonna attack azumi again yep it's still disadvantage right Yep, because Blur is still up. Yeah. Uh, that's an 8 for the first one. I'm going to say that doesn't hit. Nope. <laughs> that's an 8 for the second one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we really knocked it off balance. Yeah, so it just went slam slam next to you and like slam one side and then slam the other side <laughs> missed both times I think he actually just has like this big grin on his face <laughs> imagine it's the same pattern as last time so this time <laughs> Mizumi was ready for it yeah. no, it probably yeah. is the same pattern as last time <laughs> <laughs> look this thing is not smart. <laughs> it is yeah. Not smart. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But Professor was kind of right on the mark of the first comment. It's it is essentially just a very very tough training dummy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my god! It is, isn't it? <laughs> And unfortunately, that's all it can do with its turn. Hmm. Uh, so, Spec, you're up. Catapult. <laughs> Sorry, uh, Avi, what were you saying? I don't, I don't know if this works as a one-liner, but uh, because of the fucking, like, uh, ankle getting, like, chopped at... He's just, oh, get a leg to stand on, why don't you? Oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> <laughs> Hell, are you guy. Unfortunately, violence today. it does not respond. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sometimes you just say jokes for yourself. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Professor's like a bard. Most of this is for morale, not actually for <laughs> the opponent. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. So it's my turn, right? It is. It is your turn. What do you want to yep. do? Catapult, please. I grab an invisible. I grab <laughs> one of the invisible pieces of rubble. <laughs> okay, I uh, am. Make a dex. Please remind me. Yeah. I am right here. <laughs> uh, I am going to I ask. Do roll um both an investigation and a dex the investigation because Rutin is still standing on one of these pieces of rubble mm. um <laughs> and the oh. dex for and the dex for I'm not hitting the professor you just grab Rutin hey, if you move, need him <laughs> like can I grab can I grab one of the pieces of rubble and then move like to be angled like at 35 15 so I'm not like 
Could I? Uh, yeah, I mean, you you still have expeditious retreat up, correct? So you still yep. have extra speed. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. Exactly. Why not? So yeah, so would that just, so just investigation? Uh, yes. Yes, please roll okay. me an investigation. <laughs> okay, I should be fine at these. Uh, 12 plus 6. So okay, 18. Yeah. 18. That's enough. You you do find the piece of rubble that does not have a routine on top of it. <laughs> <laughs> Spex isn't strong enough to lift a piece of rubble with someone standing on it. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, yeah, roll a dex. Dex. Yep. I'm casting this at level two again, so I'm now officially out of level two spell slots. Yeah, okay. Uh, I'm guessing a 13 is not gonna make it. No, it just... Yeah, my... The, the thing is a 14, so yeah. Uh, I, I, I reckon uh, what happens is that it tries to move, and the, uh, the ankle that is no longer attached kind of, like, slips, and it doesn't get out of the way. Can I say I aim for its arms? Uh, you I don't know if that yep. works. Yeah. No, yeah. aim for um, arms, and I do uh, seven, five, four, and three. So, ten, nineteen. Nineteen points of damage. Okay, okay, nineteen. Um, yeah, if it's like if it's like sixty feet tall, then you can absolutely like you can you can on a board of squares you can you know dis uh uh discern between one five square mark to another you could certainly aim for a limb i think yeah 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 i also just realized that you did this while invisible so um i mean it doesn't matter oh my god the Ooh. next save anyway but it would have been at disadvantage so i rolled again it did not get a nat one but um mm -hmm. it, it did get a seven so it's it's still getting hit. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay, um, you definitely damaged the hand, um, but uh, that wasn't enough damage to, like, chop it off or anything like that, unfortunately. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think invisibility is off of me because I attack yes, now. Yes, you are, you made an yeah. attack. Yes. Mm -hmm. It is funny though yeah. because I'm gonna say that the rock was invisible when it flew, and then it smashed against it, and now it's visible on the ground. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. there's like a hole in the ground because of how hard Specs hit this thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a few holes in this ground. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, that's my turn. Alright, uh, back to the top of initiative order. Uh, Kama, you're up. Gonna aim for that hand that Spec was... was... trying to take off if it'll work. Holy shit! Yeah! <laughs> you, you definitely hit. Yeah, that'll do it! <laughs> and... Cool, all right, all right, uh, yep, yep, I got that. Okay, yeah. It's not showing everything on my end, but there we go. Okay. Yeah, okay, um, hmm. with that damage, yeah, um, okay, the hand is it won't open anymore but it's still it's still <laughs> just attached mm. well worth a shot you know <laughs> no no it definitely is it's That's... um yeah it's just not quite enough oh well, that's all karma's got uh valid azumi it's here <laughs> that was one yep. thing. Alright, roll to hit. This thing is not looking very good right now. Mm 
Um, that was another nat 20. <gasps> oh, oh my god. god. Wow, okay. <laughs> roll to attack, uh, roll your damage then, I guess. Uh, so that's a, so that's, the, the full attack is a, uh, the two hit is a uh, 27. Uh, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, sneak attack also gets, like, added to the the crit. <laughs> if you're doing double damage as opposed to double dice, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Roll roll for damage. So many D sixes. Is that already doubled? No. Uh, yeah, no. It does. No. <laughs> Not. You're doubled. going to kill this thing. Oh my yeah, god. You, he's a rogue. I don't know what you expected. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. double damage, my dude. Oh god. Okay. Wait, that's uh, sixty-two, isn't it? Uh, let's see. Five plus eight is thirteen plus uh. 31, 62, yeah. Holy shit. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, um, no, I think Azumi's the one that's gonna kill this thing. Um, okay, uh, I have, um... Alright, Azumi, do you want to tell me what you do? <laughs> yeah, give me a sec, I'm trying to think of, like, what why he's going off? <laughs> Azumi enters a rage even though he's not a barbarian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Um, Could just be he found an uh, opening. God, yeah, he probably, like, because of, like, all the, like, wobbling it's been doing, he probably, like, catches, like, a very good, like, opening to just make the strike mm -hmm. and I think his intention is still trying to like at least leave it so that one of the tunes could get a final blow on it um because I do think that one of the tunes has to be the one to defeat it um <laughs> but like I think he is trying to knock it prone again <laughs> Okay, I uh, I think what happens is like I think you manage to slice through its other leg, and it goes falling over. Um, it currently has no legs to stand on. Um, <laughs> no, literally. <laughs> um, um, it is still moving. Do they heal in between turns? No. No, it has not. It is... Oh. It is currently below zero HP, I will tell you that much. Mm -hmm. Oh! <laughs> I think one of the tunes has to do it, I think. Probably. Uh, Routine is next. Uh, unless Azumi wants to take a bonus action. I think he's just gonna turn in the direction that Spectre routine, uh, uh, are in. Cause, like, everything's disappeared. Yeah. Uh, but, like, in the direction of, like, <laughs> fix fixing where Specs is, uh, he just goes, BOTH OF YOU, NOW! <laughs> <laughs> well, it's routine's turn, so routine, what are you gonna do? <laughs> it sure is. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh-huh. I have an idea if you don't do anything, but you do it, man. <laughs> I mean, he's sure gonna try. <laughs> Attack for the first time ever, come on! <laughs> Shut, he did once! <laughs> okay, once, fair. Fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> he was forced, he was peer pressured. <laughs> when you're peer pressured <laughs> to fight. <laughs> Um. All right. Uh. <laughs> so he's kissing the rock. Shut up! <laughs> oh, Daisy, we're doing it now. Oh, Daisy, we're really in it now. You know, I'm. Yep. <laughs> we're really in it now. But um. All right, there was a reason why I'm going to go through with that anyway. Yeah, sure. Um, for funsies. Um, I mean, you guys aren't going to see it till he gets over there. But um, I'll tell you the original plan when we're out of here. Hopefully it will be done. Yeah. Okay. So. <clears throat> I'm imagining, though, he turns his head and sees this shit and he goes, All right. <laughs> This is a turn of events. I'm a dentist, boy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a dentist. <laughs> okay. Um, so he was facing the wall, but now he's gonna kind of turn back around. Um and he's going to use wild shape to turn into and I'm sorry for those who have arachnophobia, but uh he's gonna turn into a giant wolf spider. Mm -hmm. Nice. Cool. That's hilarious too nice. because that's gonna drop the invisibility. Hmm. Uh, no, it's so a you feature. Just, like, uh, oh, is it? Yeah, it's a feature. It is not as a an spell. action. It's not a spell. It's no. It's not a spell. It's a feature. Yep. All right, all right. Then, uh, yeah, you are still invisible. You're a giant spider <laughs> that's invisible. I am a giant invisible spider. That's terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> A giant okay. invisible spider. We just hear like a skittering, like, <laughs> or something. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? What's that sound? <laughs> What's happening? Alright, it's so much easier to go the other way, I was thinking. So, um, he is, uh, and he still has, um, Expeditious Retreat. Because I read that, that's, that's a concentration thing. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. You can still maintain concentration even in wild shape. Cool. You so just can't cast, right? Yeah, I can't cast anything, but I can still maintain it on that one. So. Yeah, cool, cool. Um, and the reason that he had the jewel up to his mouth is because now he has it in his little pedipalps or whatever. He's mm. holding it that way. <laughs> oh, nice. Because nice. he doesn't have any hands! <laughs> he can't hold the jewel. <laughs> Valid. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. <laughs> All right, so now, um, he's, he's gonna, I don't know what he's gonna do, but he's gonna run for it. I mean, towards the champion. <laughs> okay. Yep. Let's go. He's gonna book yeah. it. Um, so he's gonna go around. So it's like on the, the last map that we had, um, it was kind mm -hmm. of mm -hmm. in between the professor and specs. He's just gonna run that way. Um, yep. And, um... <clears throat> Alright, so that was his action. And he's using his movement to get over there. Hmm. Okay. But he can still do more movement. I think. Let's see if that's... Okay, I'm not. So, what position is the 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 champion's just like on the ground? Yeah, I I would say like it's probably caught itself on its hands and or, or like it fell and then it's gotten up on its hands. It can't and a, like it can't really do anything because its lower half is kind of Messed being up. not right. 
<laughs> yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. So, uh, he's going to run over there, and what he's going to attempt to do, um, uh, as as much as you will allow, um, he is going to mm-hmm. attempt to use his spinneret to wrap as much silk around the two hands of the champion to kind of try to bind them together. Okay. Yep. Fair enough. Okay. Oh, hell yeah. Taking it down ATAT style. <laughs> yeah! yeah! He's doing I, I, something! I don't know. It is. It, I don't. Uh, maybe. I'm just trying to think. Uh, maybe roll me some sort of, like, dex to see how good of a job you get, like, it down. Alright. I also realize I need to roll a couple of things uh, before, because I forget about terrain rules that I had. Um. Okay. <laughs> Wait, okay. I'm suddenly a little afraid. Terrain rules? Terrain rule. <laughs> No scarier words have been other than terrain rule. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, okay, so I rolled the decks. And he's got a dirty 20. Mm. He actually has an okay mod for his decks, so... <laughs> you guys are lucky. Um, <laughs> I, I realized because you brought the statue down twice... Mm. Um, oh. But you guys are underneath ruins. Mm-hmm. Um, uh oh. Stability. But you. Oh. The, um, you, you guys are lucky. You made the DC for both of them. Oh my god. Oh, oh god, I didn't I'm even. Just sweating think bullets. Of that. <laughs> I didn't think of that either. Yeah, this was in case you guys decided to try and start busting walls up Mm -hmm. (laughs) Uh, in some of the other games. So I'm just like, "Mm, yeah, no, that that definitely... um, uh, Yeah, you you guys are fine. Everything is holding still. (laughs) I forgot about the busting the walls up. (laughs) I imagine that, though invisible, the silk does appear when it's out of a certain range from routine. Yeah, it just starts appearing. <laughs> yeah, you Professor. Know, I have to say, I had this idea in my head. Like, <laughs> you don't know how long I was planning this. <laughs> and my brain just kept mulling over would the silk appear? Would it not appear? What is it going to do? <laughs> so. <laughs> it's like it's that funny. magic trick. You know, it's like that magic trick when like someone ties an invisible string around your two fingers and you can't remove them, you know? Yeah. I mean, it'll turn <laughs> visible probably at some point, but... <laughs> yeah, I think it's probably visible. It, I think it would be funny if it just appeared out of thin air. <laughs> uh, but yes, with that, you definitely effectively tie its hands down. Nice. Fortunately, though, he can't really do much else. But... I mean, the next two people can. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, uh, as he finishes spinning that, um, uh, he's going to shout both in the direction of, oh, right, that's right, he can't speak, he can't speak. <laughs> you just hear another part, like, chitter- chittering, like, <laughs> Like, what something. sound does a spider make? <laughs> I think, like, um, a clicking noise, maybe? I don't know. Please, please roll me a wisdom to see if you actually do that or not, because you currently have Daisy in your mouth. Oh. <laughs> mm. Wait, I'm rolling a wisdom for what? To not say something because you're holding a jewel. Ah, that's right. <laughs> I, could, I could be pedantic about spider anatomy for a second. I know. <laughs> uh, I could too. <laughs> Do you want to go off? I like spider 
Well, <laughs> to basically say that actually if he's holding it in his pedipalps, uh, he could still make noises with his uh, chelicerae. Yes. Because they are separate. Fair enough. All right, then you don't drop the two. <laughs> Good. I didn't roll but that one guys, anyway. <laughs> you guys do all hear a chittering noise coming from nowhere. Mm -hmm. Ah, but I would... Uh, oh, don't but... tell me you have to find a spider, too! No, no. <laughs> but yeah, both... I mean, I know that both Professor and Specs are after routines, so I feel like... I mean... Whoever can see in that area will at least notice the silk, probably. So. Yeah. Professor notices the silk, glances towards Specs, like, did you cast web? But, like, <laughs> no. no, Specs is not doing anything. So he assumes it's routine. <laughs> <laughs> not the weirdest well, thing to happen, anyway. <laughs> well, that is the end of his turn, though, so. All right. I... Yep, Professor, you're up. Yeah, thankfully he made a noise so Professor knows roughly where he is and doesn't <laughs> squish him. <laughs> um, it's okay, he wouldn't die immediately. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> but... Uh, hmm. Let's see. Uh... I think I know what I want to do, but how do I do this mechanically? Uh, let's see, what would that be? Oh, I think I know. Um, uh, man, he still has to, he still has haste, so I think he's gonna, uh, just for good measure, uh, hit its head again try to hit its head again with a sword um and then he's going to grapple it to make sure it can't go anywhere oh wait you're uh, grappling yeah. it no are you sure okay, about that uh... why uh, no reason are you gonna do lightning bolt yes Okay. Well, I mean, it I only has a five-foot width, so if you aim it correctly... <laughs> yeah, you should be able to get it in the professor. Um, it's made of stone. Okay. It's not gonna <laughs> yeah. conduct much. Okay. Um, so, yeah, roll, roll to attack at advantage. Oh, fuck. I have sculpt spell. Never mind. You can do whatever you want. <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. To hit, that is. Uh, I think that's another twenty-two. Mhm. Mm nice. Yep. Yep. That definitely will hit. I'm not even gonna bother with rolling with you rolling damage because it is still currently below his zero HP. I'm not tracking that. All right, so he does some damage to, I don't know, the head, the neck. Um, yeah, yeah. Just to further incapacitate and inconvenience it. <laughs> um, uh, and then... Uh, hmm. It's... Is it... Let's see, it... Uh, I forget, is it prone? It is currently prone. Oh, okay. Uh, he's gonna sit on it. Uh, and that's <laughs> basically the grapple. <laughs> yeah. Alright, um, alright. I'm gonna get you to roll... Uh, just roll normal grapple. I'm gonna roll at disadvantage because it's currently very disadvantaged. All right, I, I actually get advantage on a strength roll because of uh, enlarge. Yeah, fair enough. All right. Oh, thank goodness. Finally, a good roll. <laughs> yes! That's, yeah, oh no, this one did not roll good this time. That is 27. Nice.
<laughs> so happy. <laughs> Nice. You are successfully sitting on it. It can't get up. Excellent. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Bullying. Yep. Ah, all right. Well, I don't think he can. Um... Yeah, he he doesn't have a bonus action uh, that he can use, and he's not going to use his movement. I mean, he he used his movement to basically get on top of it. Uh, so that's it for Prof. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, it can't really can't really do much at this point. Um, I suppose I could do another grapple check, but I think that uh, given that last result, probably not. So, uh, Spec, do you want to do the honors? That's yes. Bad. So I didn't yeah, say this before yeah. because I kind of forgot, but for flavor, right? Spec disappears the baseball bat and they conjure up a camera. Remember? Yeah. Yeah. Conjure, yep. A blue, Ooh. a light blue camera, and they walk. They walk a little bit closer to the statue, and with a grin on their face, they just say, "Smile for the camera," and they <laughs> cast lightning bolt. Okay, this is a uh, this is a deck save again, but it's currently prone. Um. Even if it succeeds at save, uh, it still takes damage, so either way... Yeah, honestly, I'm not gonna bother. Yeah, you hit it. Um, I, I just roll damage just to see how much it does. Yeah, go for it. Uh, I might... Depending on how... Do we do we think we need a tiny hut after this? Because otherwise, uh, I'll just cast a third level, but... Uh, no, fourth I level... I think so. Or, I'll just cast it. think any of us took... No, I did take damage, but like, I, it's negli negligible. Yeah. You are the only one who all... took damage. You took nine points <laughs> of damage. Yeah, so, yeah, cast that at third level. I mean, you took uh, oh, wow. the attempt, so. <laughs> That's like a lot of twos. That's. It oh. is 8d6, so I gotta roll two more times because I don't have that many d6s. <laughs> <laughs> well, eventually. <laughs> Uh, while you're doing that, I was just reminded when you said camera that um, Routine's camcorder is still on the ground recording all of this. Oh yeah. god. From the worst possible angle. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's probably like angle. up upside down at like an awkward angle, so you, s you keep seeing people's oh. feet come into view and stuff. One and two. Wow. It wow. finally gets a good angle when we've got this thing prone, like just. <laughs> Okay, it's a good thing this was the last shot. This it was a good thing this was the last shot because man, that's not the best damage for lightning bolt. But hey, it worked. Yeah, yep, that yeah. will do it. You you hit this thing with uh with your lightning damage and it um it crumples um it it, it um it's just a pile of rubble now. <laughs> Murder! Congrats, you did it! You're sitting in rubble now. <laughs> nice. <laughs> uh, um, I, um, okay. Um, so I will get, um, I will get a Professor to roll me the perception or investigation, but, um, only because of how close you are. Um, but everyone else, um, you're probably more taken in by the fact that, um, well, still currently invisible, and, uh, <laughs> but, um, the jewel begins to glow, even through the invisibility, um, and, uh, then there is, like, yeah, like, a flash of light, and, um, Rutin, you are holding, um, about a well, medium, you know, medium size to niche, like, well, or regular, real kind, um, sized being. Um, you recognize them from the last memory you guys saw. Um, but yeah, it's, <laughs> they're currently floating, uh, in the air, in, it's still in your mandibles. <laughs> <laughs> Um, drop it! Oh my god! Drop it! Drop it! Drop it! Drop it! Nah. You do get a 
Um, you do get a, um... Ah! Giant spider! Ah! Ah! Stop it! <laughs> you hear, like, a chittering noise, and then, um... I mean, I know we're out of initiative now, but he would be using, like, a bonus action. So, uh, he is now no longer spider. Um, how big is, uh, this form now? Um, he's... They're about, um... They're about the size of, like, um... A little bit shorter than your average human. Um... Ah. Routine is still yeah. invisible. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, by the way, when when you when you drop them, they begin to laugh because they were they were messing with you. <laughs> oh. Well, routine. Can I make a quick roll to see if he actually like realizes he's still invisible? Can the rest of us see? Uh, he's not. He doesn't. <laughs> Can the rest of us see, um, Daisy? Uh, yes, you guys can see Daisy. Okay. Uh, but you can't see Routine. Yeah. Um, may I say, uh, yeah, Routine doesn't recognize that he's still invisible, but, um, he, uh, he immediately attempts to scoop Daisy up and do a hug. Oh. <laughs> I mean, to be fair. To be fair, Daisy can see routine because they're still a dee dee. Mm -hmm. um, Daisy, but Daisy. yeah, and spins them around. <laughs> you get the... I don't think I don't know if I want to cast this, but like just cast see and oh wait, no, I can't. I used up all my second level spell slots. Yeah. I can't cast the invisibility. <laughs> no, you can't. You do have a little rock thing that would help you see them, but. <laughs> Um, currently, yeah, Daisy's just currently spinning in the air. Um, Wait, are you saying I should throw a rock at Ruta? No, take out no, your true sight rock. Take out your true sight rock. That's what we meant. Oh, right, the true sight rock. I keep forgetting about that. Anyway. But, yeah, Rutin, Daisy's returning the hug with it. Oh. You did it. You actually did it. I can't believe it. I'm free. I'm free. Yes, you're free. Has anyone seen Rutan? He's, <laughs> he's right there. He's just invisible. I, uh, what, he's still okay, invisible? Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> he's looking yes, down. Yes, you are. Oh. <laughs> you are very invisible. Yeah, maybe if you cast uh, something. Oh. Oh, yes. Uh, just a second. And then uh, he's gonna set Daisy down gently. Um, he's actually gonna go over to Azumi. Um, and... Just do a very, a very ginger pat on the side of the shoulder. He's gonna cast Cure Wind. Uh. Oh, okay. Um, so he's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> when did you get over here? <laughs> when did you get it? <laughs> um, so that's gonna be, uh, eight, eight plus four. I have D8s, let's go. Let's go. Uh, All right, by so the that's way, gonna be oh, and <laughs> It's not much, uh, but it's cool. Uh, did you end up rolling that perception? Uh, oh, perception? Me? Oh, oh yeah, for Professor. Professor. Yeah. Uh, uh, no. Yeah. I we, we started talking about something else, um, <laughs> and I I don't know what this is for, but I am rolling it. Uh. Okay, that's what my mod is. Twenty-two. Oh. Nice. Uh, yeah. You will notice in amongst the rubble that you are currently sitting on is uh, some definitely not rubble. Items. Um, mm. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. He's he's got uh, he's got uh, he's got a short amount of time uh, while he's <laughs> still huge and fast. Uh, so <laughs> he's going to uh, he's going to collect those and put them in a pile by the door. Um, 
to look at in a moment. Um, <laughs> oh yeah, well, it's kind of like give you exhaustion, isn't it? Huh? What? Well, like no, no. Give you like, no. like that, uh, no. No, never mind. Okay. <laughs> um. No, it does something else, but um. It freezes you, doesn't it? Like after you after it's done. Yeah, you get tired or something. You get tired. Yeah. It doesn't freeze you. You just can't. <laughs> I hope not. In combat, you just like can't move for a while. Anyway, um. Yeah. It, you miss your next out. turn. Mhm. Mm mm -hmm. Uh, you were saying about the items. Uh, yeah. So you pull out um an immovable rod. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> Two gemstones, one from each hand, mm -hmm. where they were, uh, and two short swords. That's weak points. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, that's all I can give you for now. Um, you mm. can't I'll tell more about anything special about them, but yeah. Alright, uh, yes. He is going to put those by the entrance, uh, and he's gonna go... Alright, this is going to wear off in a matter of seconds. Uh, so, come over here, uh, and he is going to, basically, while he has the speed, uh, collect, uh, like, go around and collect everybody, uh, into a big group hug. Oh. 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 Hey, group hug. Yes. <laughs> All right, and he lets them all go, uh, and then like I think immediately two things happen. Uh, he uh, he 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 starts shrinking uh, down to his original size, uh, and he also uh, trips, taking a step backwards uh, on the heelys, uh, mm -hmm. lands flat on his back. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Professor, are you okay? I'm fine. Ow. <laughs> Spex gives, gives you like over and help him up. Before you do that, Spex just reaches over and gives you like a pat on the head, like there, there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he can oh, get up, God. but it's gonna take him us. It's gonna take him a few seconds before he can go anywhere. <laughs> Uh, side effects of haste. Yes. Fucking love haste. <laughs> <laughs> haste is so good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, uh, what should we call you, by the way? Oh, um, right, yeah. You, you saw all of that. Mm. Um, I guess I should introduce myself. Hi, um, I'm Daisy, and I am the deity of childhood. He gives a, a firm nod. Pleasure to meet you. That makes... Fix us off in the corner, like, that makes so much sense. <laughs> huh. <laughs> yeah, that, make, that makes a lot of sense. It explains so much. <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh. Routine can't help but give like this big warm <laughs> grin. He just he's so happy right now. <laughs> uh, professor gives a sort of sympathetic look and uh, taps his uh, taps the side of his head. Uh, everything clearer up here? Yes, um, much better. They sort of like shake the head and it does like a little bit of like uh, a rattle of it like most of it's not loose anymore <laughs> that's good I thank you I I can't tell you how grateful I am for what, everything that you did not just for me but you know, for joy as well. I I want to thank you. Um, and uh, yeah, their eyes are gonna glow 
a bright yellow, and um, they're, then they're going to hold out their hand, and there is um, something, there are five somethings in their hand when they reach it back out again. Hmm. Now we uh-huh. get the legendary all-powerful artifacts. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. Specs doesn't say that. Um, they, they, they will, um, they will, uh, don't worry, these, um, these won't be, mm, uh, probably not a good idea for me to be making things quite as powerful as that in, again, so these aren't that strong, but they're still, you should still help, help, hopefully. So they're holding out their Thanks. hand with five items in it. Uh, yeah, in... In their hand, they're holding five little um, daisy pins. Oh. 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 Just so precious. <laughs> Professor will Which... take one with a smile. <laughs> I, I shall take one. Post, uh, I shall post that what that is. Thank you very much. It's the least I could do. will probably grab one and like clip it to their hat (laughs) (laughs) I think Azumi's smiling (laughs) he's he's just like smiling as he kind of just pins it to his label (laughs) Karma's gonna pin his to his hood and he's just rippling a little like Pink, like embarrassed blushing. <laughs> oh, that's so good. That's perfect. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Perfect. Oh, so good. Candle. That's so cute. I do have yeah. one question. I do uh, have yep. one question. What is specs considered? <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean that's up to your discretion. Um, okay, it fair enough. no longer it. I, I will say it no longer works for tunes because that would be very busted. Mm. Um, but it if um, basically up to DM and player discretion if the character's age is below the age of maturity for the for their race. Mm-hmm. It no longer Specs defaults. Is on a weird, like, uh, defaults. Specs is on a weird. Style. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. I heard neither of those. I'll be honest. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. You go first. You go first. You go first. It no longer defaults to uh, assuming Toon is child. Hmm. Yeah. Um, yep. I get it now. Uh. Specs is in the weird Schrodinger's cat situation. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you don't have to come up with an answer to that now, but, uh, yeah. We'll that, that... it. That's fine. Yeah. God, I forgot about Koro again! <laughs> <laughs> um, don't worry, I think, realization him hits Mushroom... <laughs> I think him and Mushroom are just off to the side because Mushroom's also there. <laughs> yeah, I think we decided there is... they were gonna just, yeah, like... No, like we did, we did... That like Koro's not like getting involved in the fight, but like there is no way he's kept quiet that entire time. <laughs> God, God, I can't. I am just picturing Kuro and Mushroom, uh, like on top of the the camcorder, just like yep. like Mushroom sitting on top of the camcorder <laughs> while Kuro is next to it, like just barking the entire time. <laughs> oh my God. Like, half of the recorded footage is very much just Mushroom just looking at the camera, blocking half the screen, and then moving away, and then coming back and blocking half the screen again. It's just Mushroom's Ah, behind. Yeah. He's gotta get his camcorder. (laughs) Hmm. Maybe he's gonna, like, probably just call Korra over. (laughs) Emotional support talk. (laughs) 
Mm. Well, it was recording the whole time. Mm. Mm. Maybe I should turn it on. Maybe. Ah, no. Oh, One other thing. Have a recording. Uh, he's gonna go over and and kind of point the uh, camcorder at Daisy. You want to say anything? I think Daisy had been sort of getting closer to Cora, like, um, oh, I can pet you now. Oh. <laughs> yeah, he probably like, uh, picked up Coro and like is holding it, uh, holding him out for for Daisy to pet. <laughs> he's puppy. yeah. So yeah. So um, Daisy um. Uh, who, who mostly sort of like they're not bound by gravity, so they kind of like were floating a little bit like, like closer and them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Um, they, when Rishen says that, turns and they're just like, "Oh, hi, I'm I'm Daisy. Um, I mm, I don't know what to say. Uh, it's nice to meet you. Uh, I guess." <laughs> Professor yeah. leans into frame. <laughs> if this is being published, I did not consent. I, I do not publish it. <laughs> I said that in the beginning. <laughs> I'm just covering my bases. Azumi kind of like gently pushes Koro forward so that he's now licking Daisy's fingers. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. Da Daisy will, will let let him just be like, oh, you're such a good boy. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. <laughs> just like <laughs> rub one hand uh, and leave the other one so you can lick his fingers. <laughs> Doggy. That's adorable. So what do you think you're going to do now? I, I don't know. I... I had thought about it. I guess. I guess go back to what I. What I am, and mm. help. Help kids. That's good. There are an alarming amount of. Um, I don't know child urchins uh, that I've seen in uh, Einquell. I've not been able to help all of them myself. Um, so uh, seems like you're I mean sort of tailor fit for that sort of problem yeah I I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get all of them but well, I can definitely do more than I could before yes well just make sure that you take a little time for yourself first you you just got the free just maybe take some time and experience things that you haven't had the chance to in a while. It's important. He's got a point. <laughs> he certainly does. I for one am taking a break after this. Mm. <laughs> oh, Daisy's eyes kind of light up and they're like, Do you think I can try marshmallows? <gasps> yes. Oh, absolutely! <laughs> Well, and you know Joy will be ecstatic to see you. Ah, uh, Joy. Yes, I can I can visit her properly now. Yes. And she won't have to, um... Well, I mean, if she wants to continue traveling, that's one thing, but she doesn't have to hop around as much anymore because we've kind of taken care of the threat. Yes, yes, I'm I'm very glad about that. And I'm I'm gonna make sure that 
it doesn't happen again. Mm -hmm. They just kind of, yeah, feel, seem like they, like, it's very overwhelming right now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we just got out of the fight. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, uh, it's, um, it's a ways out, uh, out of the ruins. We could, um, just chat while we walk. Oh, um, actually, I should, uh, probably take a look at these. Uh, professor is gonna go towards the, um, items he found in the, the rubble and start picking them up. Can I, I want to follow the professor, can I cast identify on some of these? I yeah, also, go for it. I also have identify. So yeah, we could cast, like, identify on, like, one identify on each of the stones. You said there were stones? Uh, yeah, there are two, there are two gemstones, an immovable rod, and two short swords. Um, yeah. I know what an immovable yeah. rod is. Uh, I can cast, <laughs> I'll cast identify twice, yep. you want to cast it twice? I can cast it twice, I didn't really use that many first level spell slots. Yeah, neither did I. <laughs> All right. Um, if you do that, um, I, I will also post this in the chat in a moment. But um, uh, one gemstone allows the user to cast slow once per day. Mm. Um, uh. Ooh. And one gemstone allows the user to cast dazzling light once per day, uh. which is a custom spell um, mm. that I can post the actual definition of. Uh, and, uh, the two short swords, mm -hmm. um, they're, uh, enchanted so short swords, so they give a plus one to attack, uh, and they allow the user to cast Misty Step once per day. Ooh. 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 Does anyone want these short swords? Pretty good. They're pretty good. <laughs> I can't really use them. It's gonna be sad. It just kind of just goes... I'll take one. <laughs> <laughs> Pass the sword around. <laughs> okay, so Zumi's taking a short sword. Um. I. Uh, full disclosure, Professor acquires an immovable rod later in canon, um, so I can't... Yeah, this happened, I, I had these things before uh, that game happened, so... Um... Yeah, no, and that's valid. Yeah. Um, but I... Uh... <laughs> no, that's fair. Um, uh... No, the, the, the short swords and the pin are not attunement. Cool. Me. Let me see if I'm... Uh... Oh, I am proficient in short sword. <laughs> huh. I'm not. Wizard <laughs> baby. Oh, let Wait, me see. Wait, am I? This might be really double good. Check. Let me see a short oh, sword. Oh, yeah, I'm not either. Uh -huh. <laughs> Short sword. Uh, I think he might be. I can use Dex. Yes, yes, it's a finesse <laughs> weapon. Oh, <laughs> it's a light weapon. I can use two handed. Oh, <laughs> do it. <laughs> Wait, it's a light weapon. It is a light weapon. Wait, does that mean I can use it? Hold up. <laughs> it is. It is finesse and light. Those are the properties of it. It is a martial weapon, finesse with the finesse and light properties. Yeah, I I, don't, up, I can't use it. Hold up a minute. <laughs> I need I need to check this real quick. <laughs> the two of them fighting over the sword. Oh man. Like I'm just thinking like what specs specs will look cool with a sword, but at the same time I'm like, can I even use this thing? You're a wizard, <laughs> but man, uh. 
I know exactly, but Specs would look so cool with a sword. They could throw it, like they could throw their <laughs> daggers. Just throws oh a whole sword. That's weapon attack, buddy. <laughs> uh. Right, well, uh, I'm proficient with light weapons. I don't know if that counts as proficient with short swords. Uh. Hmm. Um. I'm not sure. I I I don't know. <laughs> I don't know enough about well, wizards. Bye -bye. I'm gonna add it to my equipment, and then I'm gonna check Ooh. to see how that works real quick, and if it doesn't, uh, then I'll just take it out of my equipment. Okay. Oh, that's smart, because D&D will do that. Yeah, D&D Beyond does the math for me. Mm -hmm. Alright. Uh, Karma, I mean, Dawn, do you want- <laughs> do you have any claim on any of the, uh, listed items? I mean, if no one will take it, I guess I'll take the immovable rod, but... Nah, not really. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, I can't take it. Does anyone else want the immovable rod? No, not really. I don't really know why would what specs would do with that. All right. Uh. Uh, Avi or Wick. I already took a short sword. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay. So the short sword. Nah, I don't think it's worth it. It does less damage than my dagger, so, I mean, like, the hit for it is less damage, even if, with the plus one, so, now nah, you can have a professor. How the fuck much damage do your daggers do? Uh, it's a plus five to hit for my daggers, and also, they do 1d4 plus two, oh. so, but I don't really use them that often. Okay, a short sword does more damage than that. It does do more damage, but, like, the hit is, like, lower than my dagger, so... Okay, then, well... All right. Okay, you're probably not proficient then. Yeah, so it's fine. You can take it. I would very much like to have it. Um, what was I asking? Uh, Wick, do you uh want the immovable rod or not? Uh, no, I'm okay. Okay, Karma immovable rod. Uh, Azumi hey. short sword. Uh, Professor. Uh, short sword. Um, so then the, uh, the two of you have those, uh, gems to debate over, um, uh, slow and dazzling light. Dazzling light, the spell is in the, um, roll zone now. Uh, DC con throw or be blinded. That's pretty good. It's pocket sand. It's basically pocket sand. It's pocket sand. <laughs> Um, sad. Uh, candle just disappeared, but um, what? Uh oh, candle! Oh no! no. I lost her. If if they don't, <laughs> um, I mean, I don't mind either one. So, Rutin, Wick, <laughs> you one of you. <laughs> <laughs> one of the two of you. Which one would you rather have? Um, you might take the dazzling light one. Hmm. Okay, I'll take slow. Nice. It's a good spell. <laughs> it is a good spell. Oh boy. Okay. Yeah. Uh, candle is not in the chat, which is a problem. Uh. Yeah, we can't go forward without her. Yeah. No. Mm -hmm. uh, uh. Uh oh. So we are stuck. For now. Yeah, yeah. Just gonna just gonna hang out on recording for a minute, um, to see if Candle can come ah, back. Ah, Jay said that uh, she just got on mobile. Okay. Ah, uh, it might be a Wi-Fi crash. Okay, yeah. Oh, uh, Wi-Fi or computer? Yeah, cause cause uh, 
they're listed as online on mobile, um, but I, they are also not in chat. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh no. The computer just shut <laughs> down. Oh, oh. Hooray for backup recorders. <laughs> Yay. Yep. Hooray. Man, I hope guys, I don't forget it. about the fact. <laughs> we did it. I hope I don't forget about the fact I have a slow gemstone in my inventory. I just put that did in you the write it down? section. I wrote it down. Okay. I just hope I don't forget about it. <laughs> Maybe if I put it as like a rare item, it'll go to the top. You can do that. Yeah, I have to actually remove the dust of disappearance from my mm -hmm. thing. Yeah, I made that a little more convoluted than it had to be. He didn't, That's okay. He didn't want to get seen as a spider. Well, I mean, it wasn't just that. Um, no? Well, I mean, originally... <laughs> is Rutan like a pacifist? I mean, I'm pretty sure he is because, yes. you know. <laughs> Me, yes. <laughs> <laughs> but um I mean he was still gonna try to go for the hands even before we figured out that was a point like mm -hmm. a weak point mm -hmm. or some point to attack mm -hmm. uh, he was actually gonna go crawl on the wall and on the ceiling and then drop down <laughs> oh wow but I realized I'm like that's too much movement mm -hmm. is like already down we might as well just go over just walk over <laughs> <laughs> You're going to suplex him? <laughs> <laughs> that was just surprise drop and um, try to bind the hands mm -hmm. that way. Yeah. Uh, I mean, even if the statue was going to try to hit Routine, he's mm -hmm. a spider and invisible. Yeah. So <laughs> it would be very difficult. Mm -hmm. And it'd end up probably hitting itself or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I did have another plan <laughs> if that one didn't work um because i was trying to see if there was any like bare like if there was any loose dirt or ground because most of the ground is like to stone. like dig in yes ah a little so he was gonna attempt to like mold earth just a little patch of it hmm. uh oh <laughs> and then <laughs> And then he was going to turn into a giant badger and burrow his way in there. Hmm. That would have been really cool. <laughs> yeah, he was... The, the plan with that one was he was going to burrow his way under the statue and mm -hmm. try to, like, loosen the ground under it so that it would fall over. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, attacking it was probably easier anyways. <laughs> But yeah, two plans. I had two plans. Nice. And one of them partially worked. Yeah. All right. Hmm. Uh. Well, just for recording while we're here, I am going to read out the uh, Daisy Pin reward. Um, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, I should probably add notes, huh? Probably what? I'll go to my notes right now. Oh. Uh, so, a, it is a small daisy flower pin. If the wearer sees a child, uh, in parentheses, a character below the age of maturity for the race, uh, make sure to ask for the discretion of the DM or player if necessary, in parentheses. Uh, child within 30 feet of them being uh, targeted by an attack, they may take a... The person wearing the pin may take a reaction to impose disadvantage on the attack, parentheses, or advantage on the saving throw, and parentheses, and the wearer then gets advantage on their next attack. Which is very cool. It's very cool. 
uh, and dazzling light, the custom spell that the uh, um, big stone statue was using, uh, and that uh, Routine now has. Um, dazzling light. Uh, magical colored light springs from you in a 15-foot cone. Each creature in the cone must succeed on a DC constitution saving throw uh, to meet your uh, spell, you know, against your spell DC, uh, or be blinded for one minute. A creature can repeat the saving throw at the end of each of its turns, ending the effect on itself on a success. So yeah. Some very cool stuff we got from this. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. <laughs> and I can't believe it's almost over. <laughs> I know. Hmm. Hello! Hello! You're oh, back! back. Yeah. Am I back? Hi! Yes! Yeah! We can hear you. We, oh my I god. We've been was... stalling. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I, yeah, okay, my OBS put, um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but, uh, thankfully, like, uh, everything else should be, everything else should be fine, because I don't really need my game notes anymore. <laughs> Mm hmm Uh, did you guys decide between yourselves who was taking what? Oh, yes. Yep. yep. Mm hmm Um, uh, Karma's yes. getting the immovable rod, uh, Azumi is getting a short sword, Professor's getting a short sword, uh, Spex is getting, um, the gem that casts slow, and Routine is getting the gem that casts dazzling light. Nice. Alright, cool. Um, in that case, I have no idea where you guys left things, um, or what's happening? <laughs> we so, yeah. we were, I think, just it's arguing just, uh, amongst each other about the items. Yeah, because Specs wanted the sword for a hot minute, but then they realized, oh wait, I probably can't really use this. Okay. Yeah. So I think. Yeah, I knew for a fact that routine couldn't use the sword. <laughs> so they're they're walking and talking, uh, and um, the professor and. Um, uh, Specs had cast identify and uh, they've divvied up the items and they're making their way out the ruins, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, alright, fair enough. I think Daisy might have just been like, I don't know, like interacting with things because they can now. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, um, if you guys make it to the out of the ruins, um, mm -hmm. yeah, uh, oh god, sorry, my brain is just like, <laughs> oh, <laughs> exit I... mode is just like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> scattered, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, um, yeah, I think Daisy's gonna salute it and just be like, hope I never see you again. <laughs> <laughs> In Spex's mind, Spex is just thinking, it would be bad if we ever met her, I think so. <laughs> this I... is just in Spex's mind, though, so. <laughs> ah. But you can't see Spex sweating a bit, just like, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. They're finally out. Yes. Well, that worked out. Good job, everybody. Quite well, I would say. It worked out amazingly well, I would say. I, I think yes, so. You all did great. Man, how long has it even been since we started doing this? A month? We should probably let Joy know at some point. Unless we want to keep Daisy a surprise. Mm. Uh, Daisy doesn't look sure. They're like, ah, oh, I want to talk to Do Joy, but also surprises are good. <laughs> surprises are fun. 
<laughs> well, we can make it a Guys, surprise. Are real fun. Uh, Joy knew we were going to be at this for a while, so they're not. She's not going to be, I think, worried for us. Uh, at least not not yet. So as long as uh, you're able to see her in the next couple days. Surprise would be fun, I think. What about you guys? Mm. Huh? I mean, I'll probably visit Joy. Um, but um, I, I think that this concludes my business in this particular location. Yeah, well, no, this place sucks. Mm. <laughs> yeah, it kind of does. Wait a minute, did I leave my big rock in the ruins? <laughs> like, like, did I actually leave it? It's fine, I'll figure it out later. <laughs> um... I've got to shuttle everybody, um, home, uh, you're welcome to, uh, come with and try marshmallows, or if you've got a jet, uh, that's also fine. That depends. Um. Is the infinity box gonna be nice to me this time? <laughs> as long as you don't try to go through, um, the walls. Uh, yes. That's no fun. Well, I'm it sorry, really I... is, but some it of... It really is, though. Listen. <laughs> fully agrees with Daisy on this. Specs, some of them are not dimensionally stable if you go further in. Most of yeah, them are I know, superficial. I know. All right, all right. I'm just saying, it's not <laughs> safe... And it's also... Yeah, I know! Oh, right. I know! I, I'm, really, I'm fully aware that it's not safe. I'm fully aware. It's just... You know. He wipes his <laughs> eyes. <laughs> then, I promise not to go through walls if I can try some marshmallows. All right. Sounds good. We can even make s'mores if we want to. Those are really good. We could. Mm. I think I've got enough stuff for that. Yeah. Well, what are we waiting for? Hmm. <laughs> They're kind of just like bouncing on the spot. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yes, let's go. And where did. Where did we park? <laughs> Professor, where did you park the ellipsis again? <laughs> Professor will lead the way. <laughs> uh, I think Daisy might just be like giving like commentary on the way back of it, and then you guys did this really cool thing in this room, and it was really awesome. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Pretty cool. Uh, well, I don't really have that much more for you guys. Um, I, I I don't have any like ending in mind other than maybe, um, maybe you guys go back to Inkwell and uh, I guess take a long rest uh, mm -hmm. and just hang out in the kitchen making marshmallows and trying other food products and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sex is basically just like, oh, you should try this. This is really good to, da to like, Daisy. <laughs> Don't let him <laughs> really cook. <laughs> Don't <No>. let him. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. The professor is, after the debacle uh, earlier, he is... Uh, Watching everybody in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> He's supervising. Yeah. 
It's like, uh, have you ever tried peanut butter before? <laughs> Uh, no, no, they haven't, and they are very keen to try. Um, Professor, would you like to roll an insight on Daisy? Yes. Ooh, uh, that is... Oh, that's only an 11. Uh, you know what, I'm gonna give it to you anyway. Um, they, um, they're a lot more competent this time then they um this time rounded that they're not uh like they seem to have a better head for like safety mm. than they did before mm -hmm. uh but given their uh the the way that they like the mischievous looks that they give every now and then that mm -hmm. doesn't mean necessarily that they're not going to cause any less accidents mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's fair <laughs> safety first but also <laughs> Very good. Um, but yeah. Um, so yeah, I think that uh, unless someone else has anything they want to add, we fade out to um, the yeah the chaos in the kitchen. <laughs> Yay! Yeah. Oh, that was lovely. That was a that was such a fun fight. <laughs> it was a very fun fight. God, you guys did so well. I <laughs> I can't believe how little damage you took, but then also on this other hand, yeah. you guys came up with some pretty fun things. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. I you still can't creative. get over the kaiju <laughs> fight, man. <laughs> <laughs> and the healings, I can't get over that. The healings. Uh huh. The healings. <laughs> I think the catapulting was funny, especially oh, yeah. when they turned invisible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oops. I love that you the just left. You just left some of the debris invisible in there. <laughs> well, it'll fade after like six minutes. Don't worry. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Imagine if it didn't, and someone just entered these ruins after us, and it's just like they trip over an invisible rock. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they gotta get past the doorway first. There's a very large pile of rubble there. <laughs> Fair. True. Oh, that was great. Mm. I have no recording to stop, but mm. uh, if anyone else does, uh, thank you. Um, I, I guess this is the point where we say goodbye. Mm. Uh, thank you guys for playing. I hope you had a lot of fun. Mm. Thank you for joining me on this, um, which is like yeah, my first campaign, and so good. I had. It was had so good. Um, yeah, and thank you to our uh, audience, both now and the future. I hope you had fun too. Um, bye. 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 bye.